say Vinny, don't say like. that about them. Vinny, this is so offensive. <laughs> Log in. Just glitch, let me see the stream. I only recently discovered that um, on Roll20 you can make everybody's little boxes go away and actually see the fucking map, so that took a ridiculous long time. Everyone is just names. That's okay, because I know everyone's names now. I, sh I should hope so. I should hope <laughs> so. You're not late at all. He said on the 15th he was going to be late. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't you... know numbers. <laughs> <laughs> numbers are difficult. Dates? <sighs> yes, they... Yes, they yeah. are. Can't, can't do anything about that. Being filled. They love you. Mm. Uh, Minimal murder for us is quite a it's lot of murder. Be chill. <laughs> I've got so much trauma to unload. Yeah. Are you kidding yes. me? <laughs> I plan on killing everything. I see. <laughs> We will find a fight if we wish for a <laughs> If we wish for a fight, we will kill ourselves. What's the title of the session? Sailor's Sailor mm -hmm. Song or Sailor's Song? Okay. Singular Sailor. There is only one. Sailor Song. Why don't you just wait till the stream starts and then you can check I'm, it out. Well, I'm on the stream, but it won't tell me. It's at the bottom of the video. Oh, I'm pretty sure no. you well, reached you edit a tweet. No. <laughs> no. Twitter's dumb. I know, right? That means I need to edit my notes. <sighs> Why do I have shoes? I think on? I'm ready to go now. I just had a really stressful moment there. <laughs> Oh. Ailey's coming, she's just we're sorting out our Wi-Fi situation. Yeah. <laughs> Am I I think I may be a bit delayed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I still don't have Wi-Fi. But my phone was like fully like fully, fully dead. Oh dear. So it only just came on charge now and yeah, so it's still at 3%. <laughs> Yay! Yay, technology! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't wait till I can, you know. If some in person D and D, I have so much new mm. dice to roll. So many dice. Yeah. yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but more in person D and D. Who's turn is it this Sunday? It's us, isn't it? It's, it's not you guys. Yeah. yeah, we done last Sunday. Yeah. And oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it was a, a very dragon. successful session. It was very successful. We saw a sexy lady dragon. We did. And other other that, things happened, but that's the most important. Who cares about the other things? <laughs> that, that was all I cared about was sexy lady dragon. <laughs> Is there going to be a fight over the sexy lady dragon? Um, I mean... <laughs> no. There may be. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, Marua really jumped to soon at the first sexy person she saw. <laughs> <laughs> just do a Sintara, it's fine. Mm -hmm. just, just date multiple people. Multiple people. And not tell it, any of them. <laughs> yeah. Drama. Yeah. If Nikki's watching, she's gonna kill me. She's not dating Ash, I'm just joking. She's just like, been very attractive. <laughs> Don't date your patrons, man. No. Yeah. Bad vibes. Bad power dynamic. I may need to jump on and off because this is like it's not even let me on to roll twenty. Oh, oh no. So twenty's been a little bitch as well. It's usually not this bad. Mm -hmm. I can't afford Wi-Fi, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> but you can afford to use all this four G. Every week. No, it's not that expensive. Yeah, it's unlimited. Yeah, you are delayed. My, <laughs> my phone. <laughs> I, I'm only on a sim. I'm on a sim only contract, which is twenty pound a month for unlimited. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm gonna jump on and up. I mean, I mean, they could use me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Get me like that. Hmm. <laughs> my, my aunt Is there Wi Fi on the street? <laughs> free free Wi Fi outside the shop. Oh, I was in the centre today and to the like free wi fi whatever Wi Fi it is, kept going, connect, connect, connect to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. it. My auntie's Wi Fi was really shit and slow, so she's like, I'm just gonna stop paying for this and just use my phone instead. And her phone is even worse. <clears throat> they can't like do it. they just they don't watch anything, they don't do anything. She's like, Oh, I miss Netflix. I'm like, Well, Wi-Fi. Get some... Go. Intranet. Sweet boy. How are we doing? Here he is. Oh. Here comes the boy. Here comes, comes the, the boy. boy. His ears are so small. <laughs> Good little the tiny. Walking about and he's getting annoyed because I'm not letting him up in my bed. Let him up, Molly. And I can't. There's so many wires right now. <laughs> he <laughs> he is more important. The I know he was up on my lap last week, but I've got this lit up so it's all plugged in here. Mm -hmm. Lights are important. Are my legs working? Yes. Yeah. You should get some lights. Just your, like wrap some fairy headphones. lights around your head. Mm -hmm. Like a little flower curry. Well. Fairy lights. Just, just wait until Robert gets on here and he's <laughs> speaking <laughs> like this. And then he goes really fast for a second. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, what if I turn my camera off? Well, I know you. <laughs> oh. Okay. But once James is on. <laughs> Hello. 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 Please. <laughs> God. Please. Please. Right. Uh, Am I okay good. now? Yes, I think we so. can hear you. Can you no. Hear 
We Do can hear. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 Is everyone Are moving in slow motion on purpose? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can hear God. you. No, I can hear you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a start. <laughs> Ask him a different what question, happening? James. James, what's your favorite color? What is your favorite color, James? He's not blind. You can't ask him that. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Marco. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Marco, well, you can't wait. Me. <laughs> How long did you wait before answering that? Right, There's hold no on, Bailey, are you connected to your own hotspot now? Yes. Well, that was a pretty quick response. That's good. Yeah, no, you're fine. Like, you've been online. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, oh my Soon god. Soon what, the purple? Maybe we should all leave and come back and that'll fix it. No, right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? James. There is no name. way. There's no way it's that delayed, right? Right, what? Well, yes. Give, give him a question. My name give is him a question. Your name's right. Right. Right, everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody shut up. Everybody, you. everybody shut yeah. up. Okay, okay. James, um, um, I actually don't have a question, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, okay, that's a really long delay. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it was just because you were trying to think of a question, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Molly, you go, you go. Just say your name. James. Okay, that okay, see, so that's okay, that was fine, that was fine. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh my god, are we from the fucking future? Wait. Kind of. No, I can't see or hear James. Is that normal? Yeah. No. <laughs> James is like John Cena. It's okay. <laughs> okay. It's like John Cena in that you can't see or hear him? Uh, well, you can't see him at minimum. <laughs> that is true. I, I, yeah, you can't see John Cena. That's how it works, I'm pretty sure. I'm not Bye. up to date on all the memes, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm pretty sure John Cena memes have not evolved since 2014. No. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so, uh, all of you, welcome to uh, episode 2 of chapter 2 of uh, mm. the Starlight Survivors take on everywhere. Um, uh, because you guys are just running about the map now. Uh, but we're in Port Malar, <laughs> and uh, hey! we had a, a fun activity uh, full session uh, last session. Um, who, would anyone like to do the recap? I'll go on what it. happened. Decide amongst yourselves, no, I'm not picking. should because it was yeah. my family, but I hate recapping yeah. so much. <laughs> not the but art of recapping, I just hate doing it, I know, but it's not worth it. <laughs> What if it saves your life? Mm -hmm. Then it was a pretty it's precarious situation to, to start with. Right. I have such random notes, hold on, I'll turn on my light and then I'll do the recap. The first time. Yeah. My notes are a mess, so we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so last time with the Starlight Survivors. Do I do this in my character voice? I don't even know how this works. You can do it in your character voice. Okay. So last time with the Starlight Survivors, um, we left off in a bit of a strange situation. Um, we were in the middle of traveling between Mizuro and Port Malar, um, and we were told by Ferna um, many stories. I have terrible notes for this. He said, look for the shedding selkie, look for someone named Divi, and that was great. And then we were getting ready to bunk down for the night. Um, Trella and Gasta were getting up to some things in the, the caravan that we had, or whatever you call it. 
Um, and I believe Gwynva made us a sort of tent for the night. We are about to sleep when there was pixies in the forest. And we were like, whoa, pixies! And then Podkin went and had a conversation with them, which we didn't understand any of. But to metagame this, they <laughs> were like, you need to come home um, to Juniper. Podkin was like, absolutely not. And they told her, the dog is coming. So that's terrifying. Um, Podkin sent the pixies on a wild goose chase so the dog would follow the pixies and not us. And then she put, scried on Juniper. He was on a boat, if I remember right. I don't know. He made a deal with somebody. Seemed like he was betraying people. People we don't really care about. Anyway. <laughs> um, Podkin then revealed to all of us a bit about Juniper, revealed that she was married, um, and we realized that from Gaster that he was in the Feywild around the same time Podkin was, and there was a person that got stuck there, and that's all I've got from that bit. And then we went to Port Mala, and it was great. Uh, we played strip poker again. And then we got there, and my family's tavern was burned to the ground. It was very sad. Sadie had a bit of a cry. Orland was like wildly insensitive about it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sadie found a letter from her sister. They go to the other side of town where the Kelpies Nook, her family's tavern, is being rebuilt. They find her sister. They go to the new house. Um, and then I don't remember what happened after that. This is when my notes get a bit crazy. Um, <laughs> Delilah, Sadie's sister, is like, my husband is at the shedding cell key getting drunk. So we go there, we get Landy, the husband, he's a dick. Um, there's music at the tavern and Landy smells of seawater, and that's very strange. Um, so we go home, we meet the parents, we have some dinner. Landy goes out again, Delilah's very sad. I have something about Captain Merkel, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, everybody smells of seawater. We go to the ruins of the Kelpie's Nook to investigate it and there is like this salty jelly substance can't figure out what it is we follow it into the sewer we find a small room with two barrels there is a dead body in each of them but they are dry but they look like they have ground and then out of nowhere split appears at the other end of the sewers starts chasing us down he has a bomb sewers blow up we just get out of there we run back to the shedding selkie Split chases us. Orland makes a very weird <laughs> deal with Split about me, like, try kill my family, let's see if you can. <laughs> and then they shake hands. And I think that's about it. That's all I've got. That was just the most fantastic recap. <laughs> um, <laughs> you didn't mess a thing there. Oh, you were... Yes. Um, no, you did. Um, your, 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 your mother is, is, is ill. Um, that's a whole yes. thing. And she smells like seawater too. That's, that's a whole thing. Thank um, you, seawater. Yeah. Um, you, you really don't like the Shedding Selkie. You made a, mu a bunch no. of really rude comments when you were in there. Um, Wanted to burn it down. You did. You, you were held back though, so there is no current mm -hmm. burning down of, uh, uh, and there's there's people around that know you. People have been uh, saying Sadie's name and looking at her while well, she's been walking by. It's very as a very tall ginger woman, she's very noticeable um, to the people of uh, Port Malar as being this famous pirate captain. And yes, we are indeed picking up with the after this deal that uh, Split and Orland had made, where Orland was like, "Hey, did you kill my friend?" And, he was like, yeah, and I made sure it was slow and painful, and he was like, okay, cool. 
um, I, lo I love my family. <laughs> Go and kill them. <laughs> yes. yeah. It was very strange. Why? Yeah. It was... Why did he clearly that? didn't know what he, he was being asked. I no clue. <laughs> Robert was just being a big goose, and we were like, do you know what you've just done? He was like, happy I'm going to kill your family, and he was like, happy hunting. And we're like, do you know what he just said he was going to do? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So perhaps with Orland in the future, I will have to speak more more straightly and um, <laughs> with with less of a, a twang in my words. Anyway, um, we're gonna be starting off at the Shedding Silky. Um, there is still there's no live music playing. It's like peak drinking time, but everybody's headed back to the uh, the ships because uh, the reason why the ships are in at the moment is because it's like towards the end of the month and everybody is in dropping off goods and picking up more goods to go on uh, more voyages and all the pirates are around and that's really fun but they're right back at the ships just now sweeping the decks and or swabbing the decks I suppose is more of a pirate thing to do. Mm -hmm. Um, in the Shedding Selkie, um, you have met the uh, tavern, one of the proprietors of the tavern, this um, Triton woman uh, named Devi, and you know Landy's there. Landy's Landy's there drinking, and that's that's about it. That's all you know so far. I think you had decided at the end of last session that it was a good idea to not go home because Split was after you guys. Yeah. I think we should just ignore all our problems and go make friends with some pirates. Well, do we not think there's something kind of dodgy going on with this, like, silky place? Oh yeah, I mean, super dodgy. Were we not gonna infiltrate? Wait, what is dodgy about the silky place? So it's like... It's popular. It's, it's really popular. <laughs> it's really very popular. Um... What else was dodgy about it? <laughs> Remember, like, you was up here, like, you had a good time, and it's like, but why did we have a good time? Uh -huh. I think there's yeah. some magic the shit going on there. Uh, it's the, I think it's the band, the Sirens Wheel. Let's have a good time. <laughs> oh, yeah, the band but was also much. called the Sirens Wheel. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, there's also the whole slime thing. Like, we've just found two people murdered in a battle in the sewers yeah. with all this okay. weird... I think we need to see if there's any disappearances like if anyone has reported anything because clearly people could, are dead we could okay. kill two birds with one stone we could go to the docks um and ask some questions with people who've been here and also make some pirate friends for you eris yeah. if you would like <laughs> and just start singing some body sailor songs if we want to ask about disappearances i think captain merkel is in charge of the guards here yes Yes, that's, that's why I wrote Captain Murphy. You can no... roll a performance check here, Thorella. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'd love to lie on a big, large rock and say to a sailor, give me some cockles and muffles. <laughs> a sailor loves a salty, salty time. <laughs> no. Performance. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I hate it here. <laughs> I said, let me shut your oysters, lads. That wouldn't be so bad. This is this is raving. This is impressive. She does play a bard on Sundays, let me mention. She's a glorious dwarven bard. <laughs> Um, you're you're, you're, you're you're playing for a, a couple of seconds, and uh, you managed to, you managed to make it through like the first line, and uh, the proprietor of the bar walks over to you. Excuse me, um, you actually have to book a spot to to play in the tavern. Oh, I, I didn't realise. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, what's your name? My name's Divi. Oh, you 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 own this place, yes, I I understand. Yes, with my sister. Who's your sister? Uh, my sister's Siri. <laughs> Siri and Divi, eh? Yeah, that's, that's some interesting names. Are they really? I've had them all my life. Is that short for like 
Syriana and, and, and Divili. And it's short for Cyrilla and uh, Divinity. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> I, I, must have, I must have misheard you, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, c- can, I, can I have a gin, please? Uh, of, of course, I'll bring it over to your table. Just for you. gin. Just, just, just gin. <laughs> just gin. Sure, I'll bring oh, it. Have you, have you got any of those little um? You got any of those little dried fishes? Like, like mackerel or anchovy? But the, no, the little ones, little ones. The uh, little ones, um, like prawns. Stick. Uh, if you got one of them, stick it in there for luck. Sure, I think <laughs> I think I have a couple of prawns I can throw in to the drink. Thank you, thank you very much. She doesn't even He's really seem bad. that bothered by it. I meant like a dried anchovy, but I'll take a prawn. <laughs> sure. It's just a live prawn. <laughs> <laughs> sea monkeys swimming about in your glass. <laughs> oh, can okay. We do um, okay. Sorry, what? I could make it my familiar. Could mm. be my new. Yeah. You, you <laughs> more pets. More pets. A prod? No. A single <laughs> prod? In a glass of gin, yeah. <laughs> Get what, you what know time, what time is it? What time is it? It is like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Okay, bedtime. It's not that late. This is not bedtime. <laughs> what? This is peak what? time for Pomelar. <laughs> Maybe we should, like, should we, like, should we split like some not not split sorry sorry not like that should we divide like some people go to the docks and speak to the you know the, the pirates and get information and then some people stay here in the tavern and find out if there's something fishy going on right. i'm think... not gonna lie splitting up before has never ended well and particularly yeah, was... since we're in port malar I don't think it's a good yeah, idea. When I, was, when I was running a lot of parties, you know, at the brothel, we'd have, have a lot of parties because that's what a lot of people... And, like, a lot of people, it was just a saying that went around the Ruby City that uh, you're going to have a bad time if you split the party because then you got, you know, you, you got the perfect mix of people in the party to make everything work. And if you split it in half, then you got some people that are into feet, but then you've not got the people that can accommodate to that because you've gone and split the party. The feet people might be off with the balloon people. You don't know. You want to keep them all in the one, in the one place if you can. Exactly. Why? <laughs> I slightly <laughs> understand that. <laughs> we are stronger yeah. together than we are apart because we all have different skills that we contribute to. Right. More just you probably will all get yeah. robbed if I am not with you. <laughs> oh, that is also true. Yeah. Okay. I'm still confused about the balloons, but all right, I under we can stick I don't together. Know if I really want to know about the balloons. Okay. We all wear shoes. We all have feet, so that's good. Yes. You know, some people Unless... really like it when you pop balloons, but some people can't stand if you pop balloons. They just want there to be balloons. And then if you mix them in the same room, it's a bad vibe. So usually when you make a party, you don't have the balloon popping people in with the balloon uh, d- rubbing people, you know? Uh, but you should definitely never split the party. Okay. So I, my thoughts are... <laughs> <laughs> Go to the guards and get the official word on any disappearances that happen, and then go to the docks and see what everyone else is actually saying. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And just a thought. Um, Divi says she runs this place with her sister. Has anyone actually seen her sister? No. Divi was here last time so. came in. Is there anyone who looks like Devi in the bar? Not, that isn't Devi? Not around, no, that you can see. What if we just shouted, Hey Siri! And, and, and maybe someone would show up. 
But what really? if Siri's the one who's like stuffing people's bodies in barrels, you know? And we found that blue scale down there, and I mean, I mean, if he's blue, is all I'm saying. Yeah, but that scale was from a that's fish right. of snapping type. You can't what if her sister's a fish? Right. Yes. Thank you. A proud, you know, you know, you, you don't, you, you, nice people live in the sea, can swim, can walk, valuable to be able to swim and walk. Well, yeah. True. I mean, I can swim true. and walk, so. I can also swim and walk. I don't be such a show off. <laughs> 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 what human can swim and walk? <laughs> well, I'm not human. A human that yeah. lived over 20 years on the sea. <laughs> well, la di da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of bathhouses you, where you I can was. See, you can see Debbie's just staring at you guys at the table. Like, so she's like, she's trying like, to hear what we're saying. She like, can like, hear what, what you're saying. She's just absent. People. She's absentmindedly cleaning a glass and just looking like bewildered at what you guys are saying. The bar's pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no music right. playing or anything. Should you go to the Good. gods? Yeah, we, we should go. I think so. <laughs> yeah. We should go out a stroll on the yes. beach. No, we're going to the gardens. Yeah, no, we're going. We're just leaving. The... I think. Oh, oh right. We're yes. Making. We're going to the beach. Before you go, were you wanting to meet Suri? Sorry, I, I overheard. Oh. To here? Yeah, she's in the back. Do you want to come into the back and meet her? Her. <laughs> Are patrons usually allowed to go in the back? She's gonna be in a big fish tank! Well, She's definitely a giant fish. <laughs> you're, all, you're all so lovely, and um, if you want to give mm -hmm. compliments to the chef, then um, you could come into the back with me. Can I end sight check with the chef? Sorry, what? Can I end sight check this? Yeah, sure. No, oh, no, my end sight's not good. us. Oh! Um, she, she seems uh, nervous. Nervous because of us? You're you're not sure, but it definitely seems nervous. Oh, well, I mean, maybe sorry. Should we? Go. Yeah, I mean, what, it was one sister I and uh, six of us. It's always nice to see what the other yeah. taverns look like. Yeah, yeah. In the back. Um, so, she, oh, sure, I'll just show you into the back and she she is signaling to someone <laughs> she, yeah. she she opens up the door towards the back as you guys are all standing around the bar she goes siri and a knife like plants into the door thrown across <laughs> the room she goes ah siri we've got guests ah and you see this brooding hulk of a blue triton walk to the door, just rippling muscles and wearing um, <laughs> an apron that says "Kiss the Chef," and she's got these two very large fins that come out from her ears. Cool. She goes, "You better be here to pay compliments." Is she hot? Um, and and yeah, and <laughs> the kind of Into she that. will crush you with her thighs, in a way. Oh, very hot! Wow. Yeah. Competition, I see. I feel like she should have a breed. Yeah, yeah, she's got like one long braid down the back. Yes, we just wanted to say how amazing the whole place is. Many, many cops. Yes. You can see in her hand she's holding a butcher's knife. It's a big butcher's cleaver. It's like dripping some blood onto the floor. <sighs> Lovely! <laughs> she like throws it down to the ground, then it impales onto the ground with a thud. Come here! Hug the chef! <laughs> is that sanitary? It's fine, I clean my hands every moment. And she walks off okay. and she grabs Sadie into a hug. She like <laughs> she she dwarfs Sadie. She is a massive <laughs> woman. Sadie That's looks so like a small child in her arms and she like lifts her up and like cracks the bones in her back as she hugs. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that that's lovely. 
I love Thank when you. people <laughs> compliment the shedding silky. It's my life of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, you're that yeah. Captain Sadie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure. She's got her, her hands around your hands, and it like goes all the way up to like all the way up your forearm with her two very large hands. She's shaking her. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. It is. Pleasure to meet you too, Siri. Uh, I've heard, have you met my sister, Delilah? Oh, I have. Prickly customer yes. she is. I love her so much. <laughs> yes, she's. I'm not too fond of what? a man, though. No, none of us are. That's all right. Landy like looks up drunkishly, he's like, <laughs> but he's got no response. You just sit there. <laughs> Landy's trash. <laughs> well, you can sit yourselves down. I'll bring you out some free samples of our new special. Oh, well, I think we were just getting ready to leave. We've got a busy night. Oh, but it's the best turtle soup in the in the whole country. Oh, maybe some other night. We we're gonna be here for a few days, I believe. A single tear runs down Surrey's face. Oh, oh no. we can take some to it's go. It's all right. Yeah, we can. All no, together. no, it's it's okay. You know, just with rebuilding no, Cappy's I... Nook, where we're very busy. I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just get emotional sometimes. Apologize. It's fine. I just... really don't care about this at all, but I desperately want this woman to adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go on about your business. I've got, I've got more specials to prepare anyway. All right. Maybe we could come back later, and you could give us a tour. Maybe, yeah, maybe. You, you could join you and I, okay? Right. She like picks up her right, knife thanks. and heads back in. <sighs> so that was She's my lovely. sister. Yes. It's a very nice woman. Yes. Yes. She's my little sister. Mm. Oh. I can tell. <laughs> Anyway, um, anyway, I don't want to. Yes. I don't want to hold you off for too long. That's. Uh, hmm. We best be off. Of course, of yes. course, yes. Well, it's a lovely uh, place you've got here. But thank you, thank you. Hopefully, we'll see you again, and then hopefully you'll um, have your place sorted, and we can be back to rivalry. <laughs> you know, good old rivalry makes you want to burn down people's taverns. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. Well, I would appreciate it if somebody hadn't burned down mine, but you know, that's the way of the world. I'm getting very uncomfortable with this conversation. That's well, we fine, we're just leaving. We're <laughs> going to go. Okay. Thank you so much. We will be seeing you later. As you guys leave. Before we're heading out, I want to be the last one to head out. I'm going to like go up to Landy, just like from behind him, like slap him on the shoulder a wee bit and be like, you better go home tonight, you better apologise to your wife. I'll bring her home a bowl, that will cheer her up. Fine, come a pat on the head before I leave. Outside, the cool sea breeze is rolled in. And it's a beautiful ambient temperature in Port Millar. There's lots of activity on the docks, but not much elsewhere. So, guards first? Where would yes. we find guards. the captain of the guard? They didn't know? Yeah, at the guards' quarters. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Let's go to the guards' quarters then. Go! Sure. We'll follow you. Nearby the rich district of town, there is a relatively mediocre-looking uh, granite building um, with a small fence around it. There's a couple of armored guards and like chainmail nearby. 
um, but they don't really look all that interested in stopping you as you walk your way up to the front door of the guard's post and head on in um, where there is a small reception table um, with a little halfling woman sitting at the reception table. Oh, hello. You here to report a crime? Uh, more inquire about um, any missing people around. Um, sure, hold on. And she reaches underneath the desk and pulls out like a stack of paper, puts it down. Is that is this... yeah. all the missing people? In the past 10 years. Oh, well, we're, we're talking, talking more, more recently. recently. Oh, like maybe that. in the last month? Um, sure, I can. Um, she pulls out like f- hundreds out of the stack. Oh, is that like normal for that many people to go missing in that short time? You see, in Port Pilar, when people go missing, <laughs> they tend to have just jumped on a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Like they've run away to become a sailor or something like that, mm-hmm. or they've fallen in love with a damsel and left their family. Like, that's just kind of what Port Pilar is like. Mm-hmm. Are there any like photos or anything on the documents? No. Do they have descriptions of the people that are missing? Very brief descriptions. Could I just have a little look at those? Oh, these are classified documents. Oh, okay. That's fine. Do you have the the name of a person that you're looking for? No. No, we were just... Some certain things in town have piqued our interest and we were just wondering if certain things were connected. Well, if you're amateur <laughs> investigators, perhaps you'll be wanting to talk to Captain Merkel. That would be great. Well, if, yeah, if he's available, that would be fantastic. Um, Captain Merkel is in his office just now. Um, she, like, hops off her little chair. I'll just go and see if he's up for guests. And she walks off to the back. Um, looks like you, you have a second here before she comes back. God, should we like report that we found bodies in the can store? Can I get some of the papers? Um, yes, you can. Um, okay. Roll me a sleight of hand. Excellent. Two different kinds of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was thinking it, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, it would seem a bit suspicious Whoa. if it came from us. Oh, nice. Um, you pocket five pieces of paper. Um, before the halfling comes back around the corner. Captain Michael, we'll see you now. Perfect. Oh, oh, Thank you. That was quick. Thank you. So kind. As you walk around to the back, you go to a very shoddy office. Um, like The table that's in the centre of the room is uh, slanted over at the side, and he puts his drink down as you walk in. It, clear, it appears to be some kind of spirit. And it slays the other side of the desk and then hits the floor. <laughs> Come in. You see that Captain Merkel is this man with an eye patch, a salt and pepper beard, bald head, um, or balding. It looks like he's not quite come to grips with the fact that he's balding and so has this horrible hairstyle going. Uh, he is dressed in pirate's clothing but with the chain mail of a guard underneath. Sorry, I don't actually have many seats, um, but... It's fine. So what can I do for you? We were just in... Oh, sorry, Quintel, on you go. No, right, no, you go ahead, you know this place better. No, oh, I've just pulled into town recently, and we've just had some suspicions while we've been here we were just wondering how many people have been going missing recently well um no more than usual um in fact probably a little bit less than usual because you know it's been a slow month for um ye old haulage considering the amount of ships that have been going missing and uh yeah ships so- have been going missing yeah, yeah. A couple of ships been going missing on the shores, and um, a couple of Dynatech sh- ships have gone missing further abroad. On the shores, you say? Yeah. As if 
Do you mean they were docked or they were pulling in? They were docked. Docked? Yeah. And that's very strange. That is I think. Strange. Is that strange? I think that's strange. Yeah. Personally. Strange. Anyway, Captain Shady, I didn't realise you were back in town. Yes, um, just for just now. You're planning on heading but... back onto a ship, or...? Uh, no, not anytime soon. Oh. Alright. Understood. Yeah. So you're just doing some uh, amateur detective work, then? It's not amateur detective work, but... We were just curious about any strange goings-ons that have happened recently. Strange goings-on. Um, the pirate guilds have been fighting along le a lot less. That's kind of strange. Usually they're at each other's throats, but they've actually been quite cordial with each other. Um, um, there was an owlbear started in town not that long ago. That was pretty weird. Dealt with it, though. Not an issue. Um, and obviously the Ruby City ships, they're heading towards One Grenade. That's odd. Yeah. Do you have any further leads on these ships that have gone missing from the docks? Pretty sure they were still. I think no a ship is pretty hard to steal a ship and have nobody notice, though. Well, you go in dead at night, you know, put up the sails, get it away. It's not that difficult. It's a ball with well, nobody seeing, though. I mean, that is strange, but maybe everybody that saw was just too drunk to, to notice, you know? Do you, Do you not, not need quite a few people to work. steal a ship? Oh yeah, it'll be a team of people. Do you not have, like, guards posted near the docks? <laughs> no. Pirate guilds won't let me post guards near the docks. Pirate guilds guard themselves. And have they mentioned anything? No, they try to keep themselves to themselves. Imagine that we deal with a whole, you know, amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, do we have any more questions? I can't think um, of anything. You maybe want to ask questions about your tavern, Sadie. Mm. Oh, yes. The Kelpie's Nook. Do yeah, you we... have any leads? No? We uh, actually have a case open. Um, hold on. Uh, he pulls out a small case file after rummaging in his desk. You can hear the clanking of bottles as he's rummaging around in his desk. He pulls out a small case files. Yeah, we're looking into uh, insurance fraud. Insurance fraud? Well, yeah. Tavern was insured, so. You fucking serious? Hey, you asked. You think that the tavern that's been in my family for three generations now was purposely burnt down? Well, you said it. Okay, Look, we're leaving. We just have to follow all the leads, Sadie. Yeah, all the fucking leads. Um, as far as we're aware, we're... there wasn't any foul play. Sure, there wasn't. Were there any um, witnesses to the fire? Or, wait, just before? Um, there was one drunk. And obviously the people that were in the tavern, but they didn't see anything. What, did, did the drunk person see anything? Uh, he said he saw people entering the tavern and then a large spark. Kind of time people. Yeah, what time? He was drunk, he didn't know what people and to be honest I don't think he knew what time it was either. That's fair. Did he know how many people? He said twelve, but you know, he he's, oh. he's constantly seeing double, maybe triple. <laughs> Do you have a name for okay. this? Yeah. People call him Jamison. Jamberson? Jamberson. Jam... Jamberson. Can you spell that for me? You think I know how to spell? <laughs> An approximate... <laughs> You're the the god. I'm always a pirate. <laughs> 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 Never learned how to spell. 
I've out of context. It's J A M B E S O N. Jambison. 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 Jam. He's connected to Jalaya. No. No. And whereabouts can we find this Jambison? Wherever there's booze. That's. Most places here. He goes from place to place. Oh god, we lost Molly. That was unexpected. <laughs> you okay? Molly gets so frustrated with this guy that she just disconnects. I don't know what Molly. happened. <laughs> and just like freaked out for a second. Back. <laughs> he travels, he's homeless, so he just travels around Port Vila drinking what he can get his hands on. There's a good chance we'll find him at the, at the Selkie. You have a description of him? He's fuck ugly. He's got a big fucking warts on his face. Um, big nose. Just, like, comically large nose. Um, looks like he hasn't showered in about seven years, because he hasn't, apart from the yeah. rain. Um, I'm pretty sure that his clothes, he's worn them so long that they fuse to his person. Um, well, and his cheeks are always kind of a bright red from the alcohol. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and his okay. eyes are kind of yellow because of the jaundice. Fantastic. I'm sure we'll bump into him at some point. I really hope you don't. You'll never get the smell out. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think we've got everything we need. Um, just quite quick one before we leave. Um, has there been any reports about weird sea sludge in like people's residence mm, not that I remember now kind of looks like this got to be a tab of it um, that looks vile and awful but no I've not experienced this you noticed a lot of people here smell like seawater. We do live at the sea. Yeah, I thought that was notable. Something just told me that that's, that's a notable thing, even though you all <laughs> live next to the sea, and you'd think you'd smell like seawater all the time. I, I, I smell like seawater right now. It's. Does it? Uh, real perception. <laughs> <laughs> Better, 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 better. Yeah, he does. It smells very strongly as you are. Lovely. <laughs> Can't wait and... to get myself a bag of whelks and just slurp them down. That's what my s that smell reminds me of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if there's nothing else, I just want to finish my paperwork oh, and head to the cell. Yes, One more quick question. Is there any news from Indara? We don't really speak much to Indara these days. Okay. Thanks. Of course. Right, well, we don't want to keep you from your work. Yeah, yeah. Got some work to do and then head out for some drinks, I think. Where selkie. where do you go? Yeah, well, you know, I uh, I'm beyond at the Selkie. It's the best bar around town. So. Uh -huh. Why why is that? Why is it the best bar in town? Because the Kelpie's not burned down. Good man. I mean, other than that, yeah. like what's what's notable about the place? Reasonably cheap beer and all that good series of catch. Sometimes just gaze dreamily over this counter through the little hole where she puts the food out. Of. Well, her big muscles are flipping over pancakes and and she's cutting open those oysters with that knife that looks like a little needle in her hands. And she's... Uh, the way that she glares at me and smirks like she wants to kill me. It just really riles my fire, you know? 
feels like it's getting a bit too intimate. So yeah, we should also, go. And also, and also, we have live music <laughs> as well. That's quite. Mm. Do they? No. Suspicious. Oh, often. Didn't have any live music when we were there. So. It's always quiet. <laughs> like everyone can hear all of your conversations. It is <laughs> silent in there. I've never had that. It's usually quite noisy in there. Actually. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll see you there later. I'll buy you a drink if you do. That'd be nice. If you get there before me, save me a seat at the bar that looks straight through the, the little hole in the, the back. We're not gonna do that. You but... know, if you, just, if you just tell that big girl that you like her food and that you'd like to sample some of the specials, I bet you'd be in there with a the shout, my man. I'd like to sample some of her specials. Oh no, oh, me! God. I really oh, need okay. to go. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. I... Um, There's like a late bed drill coming up this moment. Oh. <laughs> we have a meeting actually. Well, go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Good Goodbye. evening. So you guys head back out. What's your plan? <laughs> I think go to the docks. Go to the docks. Okay. Um, and talk to the pirates and see what their vibes are in terms of disappearances in the boats. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That's very weird. A lot weird. Yeah. So you guys head to the docks. Um, the docks are a little bit busy. See where we're, where we're walking there. Can I sniff Sadie? <laughs> are, you, are you trying to be subtle about it? Yeah. I don't want her to get a fright and turn around and fucking launch me into the sea. <laughs> then, uh, roll stealth. Oh, bye! Uh, okay, roll perception. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, my perception's a plus five. No, no, no. no. So both of you, both of you, two. both of you roll perception. Both, both of us. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Sadie, you very obviously notice that you're being sniffed. Um, but, Pokin, you do also notice. Um, what, Sadie, what do you smell like? Um, what does Sadie smell like? She obviously has always has like this hint of red wine to just like herself. I feel like she smells kind of like. Not smoky in a way that she smokes, but like smoky in a way she wears like a smoky kind of perfume. Okay. So Best. you smell that, but no seawater. Mm. Okay. Why did? Mm. Why are you sniffing me, Pogan? Why? I'm just mate. I was just thinking about how all the people keep smelling of seawater and then I wondered maybe we smell of seawater and I thought you would be most likely because you know you're from here and you've sailed the seas but you don't you smell really really good um Thank you actually very much. but you don't smell of seawater nope. would you like me to smell you and see if you smell of seawater yes okay give her a little sniff give me a perception check <laughs> Oh, what? A seven? You're, you're getting a waft of seawater. You're getting a waft? You're, yeah, of you're getting a little water? waft of seawater. Strangely, like the tiniest bit you do. What? No, it beats in your nostrils because you've been on this. Gwenva, sniff me. Oh, right, sure. But you can tell it's not coming from, uh, from Podkin, but there is a waft of salt water in the air. Right. Do I smell of seawater? It... No, it's just, it's this, like, area. No, you're pretty sure it's coming from one of you. I sniff myself. Give me a perception check. Oh, no. <laughs> um, perception? Uh-huh. Um, you're pretty sure it's not you. 
Okay. Sorella. Sorella. Gaster. Gasteresses. Gaster I had one bag. I had one bag of buckles and muscles earlier, and I didn't brush my teeth, so it might be that. <laughs> but you sniff away. Let's give Thorella a sniff. Who wants to do it? Sniff her. I'll do it. Um, yes, the relic smells mildly of seawater. Um, however, you realise pretty quickly that it's whenever she breathes out, and it's the smell of salty gin from the prawn. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh! Did the gin taste drink? salty when you drank it? A little. But, like, in a nice way. I okay. mean, there was a prawn in it. But there could be you... an explanation for this, but I think we shouldn't drink anything from there. No, it seems very suspicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, Dundee has been drinking there a lot, and considering and he been... smells. And he said he's been bringing, or he said he would bring a bottle onto Delilah, which probably means he's done it before. Sorry, <laughs> that just flew nearly into my window. <laughs> <laughs> Right what? <laughs> I was watching you intensely the whole time and I thought you'd had like a realization in the game. Someone <laughs> someone clip that, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this black shadow like shut up. I have, it so I have clipped it, don't worry guys. Oh my it's god. That. So we funny. got that. Sweating. That was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big spider. <laughs> what are we oh talking goodness. about? Yes, uh, yes. Landy sea water, and he yes. said he's Bring to Delilah. bringing her yes. muscles to, to Delilah. Oh, and now he like okay. always wants to go there. And like, didn't you? Did you tell us that your mum? Um, I don't think you did. Was at the dinner table? Yes. Also, my mother. She's ill in bed. Yeah. She also smells seawater. Uh, what? It but could then... be that if she's brought her home, she's drank it. Yeah. But how is she ill and he's not out? Mm, there's a lot, lot to prove. There's a lot right, going so on. Yeah. Maybe it's something to do with a combination of being there. Thrilla, what? do you have an idea? Uh, l let me get this straight. We don't like this bar because lots of people like it. And it's not Sadie's bar. <laughs> we don't yes. like it. And people that drink the alcohol from there smell of seawater, but there ain't nothing wrong with them apart from that they smell of seawater. <laughs> now we're starting to get to the bottom of the mystery. Also, also, they're like, the band's great. There's no music playing in there. There is clearly something there was, what? deceptive going there was on. Also, there, not a band the other night. there was a band the first there time. But they didn't play. They were playing. They and then they, they were not playing. No, wait, were they on the break? Or were they play? They I were on the, they were on the break. Mm. Mm. The and what they suspicious. said they were called the Sirens Whale, which I just think is really suspicious. Yeah, they they came out. Why and would like, a siren need a whale? The Sirens Whale. That's true. Uh, they came out like that. Right. So Thank nice you. pub, good band, smells a bit of seawater. How Get how can you know the band's good? Oh. I've never heard them. Have you yeah. heard them? We had seawater sludge. Well. Yeah, the sludge. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The sludge. Yeah. That's why I was like, maybe we oh. could get a tour, because maybe they have some sludge like stashed in the back, you along think with some dead bodies. Well? Just to uh, you know, fill Thorella in that the sludge we found traces of iron, calcium, and potassium. And in, those are people things. In the sludge. Is that like things that are in a person? If yeah, I yes. got it, if I got some sludge for my, for my oh, poisonous oh, kit, I've got I've got it here if you want it. Can I can I see if it is in fact a, a liquefied person? You you can. Uh, can you roll your poisoner's kit? It's totally liquefied people. Oh. I bet I if you drink enough this. of their alcohol, you turn into seawater. What if it's like oh. that thing? That thing. That that thing. I um, can't put the thing. It's, it's, your, that thing. it's your dexterity plus your uh, proficiency. Like uh, in X Men, <laughs> like I saw this play once yes, called X Men, yes. and That's the guy I got like a, a yeah, little so a little vaccine thing, and then he could fit through bars, and then he turned yeah. into water. And <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. Plus your proficiency is uh, 14, right? 13? What's your proficiency bonus right now, guys? Four. Plus four. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's 14. Um, it appears to be a secretions of some kind of creature. Um, it is definitely not liquefied people. Um, oh, but didn't it, we know it was snail? It reminds you a lot of snail secretion. Yes. The snails eating people and pooping them out. What if it's a giant? <gasps> what if it's a giant? Sea snail. Hold on. What if this Hold is on. the we stuff never... that they're? Hold on. We never sampled the specials at this girl's restaurant. How do we know she's not just cooking snails? That's quite common. She'd have to cook a lot of snails that much... for that Bruh. much sludge. She's a very big yeah. girl. I think she could cook but quite that a lot. Also... At one time. But that doesn't also excuse why there was two dead bodies in the barrels around all this sludge. Yes. Who had but drowned but were well, so That's that an important thing. It also doesn't excuse how much of it, and it was leading from Sadie's old tavern down into the sewers. It's all just very confusing. There's a lot happening. Thorella, I know that the person inside of you controlling you is very much in love with the big cook lady. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I know the I voice like, in your what head. Are you about my love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only gay for pay. I'm going to have to say that I agree with uh, Thorella here. Um, this band and this uh, bar, they are very good, actually. Did you hear the band? Well, they, they came out and they went, We are the Sirens Whale! And I went, oh, that is actually very interesting. I, I thought it was a good name. I thought they seemed fun. Um, and Landy seems to enjoy it, although he is kind of an asshole. Okay. There's lots of suspicious things. We're probably a little bit biased because of the whole tavern thing. But I don't think that we should disregard our suspicions. Oh, yes, I agree. Thank you, Okay, fine. So we go back and we talk to the big lady and we uh, uh, go for a tour. Yeah, yeah. Are what we do talking we... to the pirates first? I think talk to the pirates first, maybe. I'd like to know more about the missing ships as well, so... I was thinking about that and this might be a really stupid idea because it would probably get me killed. But also, I don't need to sleep. And no one's been on watch as far as we know if the ship's going missing. So if I go and sit at the docks all night, mm. I might see something. But yes, Very that's the reaction I was expecting. You're not leaving you on the docks by yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. People might think you're a... Uh... You what, know. What's that face? Are you, are you trying like... to insinuate there's something bad about that, Pumpkin? No! Yeah, like, the night, I think no. she's trying oh. to say that... Do we think no, that you sell, I'm... you know? Oh, oh dear, no. No, that's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I, no. I didn't say it was bad, I just said that people might think that that's what Eris is and, and, and Eris what is. What, is what did they did? Then not... she would be distracted from her watch for having to turn away suitors. Uh, it's all. Because of course round. I am very possible. You win this round, Podkin. But I will get you <laughs> being insensitive in the future. <laughs> I'm a you very sensitive, could always send considerate person. Your bird, your Suti, Suti yeah. is it? Suti yeah. could go, and I could watch through Suti. You could, could send also. Are you talking to Gesta? I thought you said to Gesta you could always send your bird. You know, because I. I mean, of course. <laughs> no, I would uh, prefer if we didn't send Thrilla out to uh, work on the docks for the night. My bed is no. far more comfortable than most suitors are, I think. Uh, I don't could... think you can walk. I think going by right, I could have Suti patrol and wherever I'm sitting. We could also, the... yeah, find a room somewhere. Where you have no. a view of the dogs. Yeah. yeah. Watch. Well, the oh, let's go speak to the pirates. There's a shedding mm. silky somewhere where we can look across the docks. No. Oh, Bryn, that's unhelpful. <laughs> that doesn't help us. Well, your new tavern that you're building has somewhere you can look over the dogs, but it's not ready yet. Is there another Nobody tavern? would know if we were in there. 
Ooh. Oh, this is a very good thing. Uh, depends how built it is. I've not actually been inside yet. The shell of it's all built. It's just like building the bar bit and like making sure the rooms are nice and stuff. Is there floor? Yeah, there's floors. Are there beds? No, there's no beds. Okay. Are there blankets? Yeah. No, there's no blankets. Could blankets That's... be acquired? I guess. <laughs> Do we not have traveler packs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like sleeping we, bags? We've got nice. like bed rolls and stuff. Oh yeah, that's fine. I suppose we can stop by tonight and <laughs> Sorry we're not in a mansion, Eris. <laughs> I'm me. sorry, Please. I am used to certain comforts. Are you? A crackling fire that engulfs the entire I'm joking, she does not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch blast <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. Anyway, to the docks, huh? To the docks. To the docks. So you guys head to the docks. Um, it's a very nice temperature, um, and there appears to be some kind of party going on at the docks in a warehouse. Um, there's a very small dwarf at the door who appears to be a bouncer. Um, you watch as a couple of pirates walk in. Some of them are holding large spears, some of them are holding scimitars, um, as they walk into the warehouse. Oi! This is a throwback. Oi. 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 Oh. Oi. Oi. Is he talking to us? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oi. <laughs> what? Oi. 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 Hi, right, fuck off then. Oh, I'm assuming that was a password kind of thing. Ah, well, oh, well, you fucking failed, didn't you? Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be like, I'll hold like up a gold piece and be like, Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! 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 Fuck off, still though. Thank you. He takes oh, your gold what? face and he's like, I fuck off. Come on. Have you not seen who we're with? Yeah, Captain Sadie J. Angel. That was actually on your crew, God, 15 years ago. Oh my god, were you? Yeah. You don't remember me? I remember every face that comes. Through my ship. Well, I don't know, my face is a little bit more scarred now than it used to be, eh, hey, Sadie? Uh, <laughs> so, yes. You can go in through, your friends have to fuck off. Uh, come on, they're with me, they're pretty cool. We're pretty cool. They're a lot cool. tougher than they, they look, I promise. Right, what's your weapon of choice? Uh, Warhammer? Ah, oh, you better put that the fuck can away, mate. Can I attempt while people are talking? I to, like... throw it away and then have it come back to my hand. Thorella, <laughs> <laughs> Thorella, what are you doing? Can I attempt while people are telling him what their weapons of choice is to pickpocket his weapon? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, can you roll stealth and sleight of hand, please? Oh, it just got oh. killed by this tiny dwarf. Oh dear, oh dear. Hey, okay. there's nothing wrong about being a dwarf. Oh, that, that wasn't meant in a like, insulting way. Are you insulting my girlfriend? Girlfriend? <laughs> my friend who's a... <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't notice as you lean over and reach into his, uh, his pockets. And you notice that uh, you do manage to get the gold piece back. Uh, the uh, toy you gave them. But he doesn't have any weapons. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Does he have anything else Nothing. interesting in there? Um, He's got a single oyster. <laughs> I take that. Uh. <laughs> that was what if it's a pet? <laughs> oh, it's just dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you, stole, you stole this man's like mid shift snack. <laughs> Single oyster. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You're gonna have to put the warhammer out here. You can leave it with me. I'm I'm trustworthy, but you can't be bringing that into there. Why not? Well, you see, say you've not been around for quite some time, but all the guilds they got their own uh, weapons, and you want to fit in with one of them, you're gonna have one of their weapons. The, um, well, what weapons? about a crossbow? Get that so far to fuck me. 
Look, you guys are clearly not instructed on how to blend in with the pirate guilds. Why don't you go off and educate I've got yourself? A spear. A spear Been works. here a while. Yeah, why don't you go educate what? yourself and then you can come back? Educate myself. What? Can I um? Can I speak to him in thieves' camp? Oh yes, you can. <laughs> what 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 are you trying to convey? Uh, I, I want to be like. I want to be like. Do you know my? I think you should. Um, I think you should be careful with that one because I, I once saw a melt. A man's face with her eyes, like gesturing to Eris with in thieves can't, which takes twice as long as it would take me to say that. Uh, while like <laughs> playing with the little oyster that I've, I've taken out of his pocket, like just doing it <laughs> He reaches into his pocket and realizes you've taken his oyster, and I'll chuck it back to him. <laughs> catches it in midair. Oh, that was rather impressive. You really melted the guy's eyes out. To say that to me? Yeah. Normal? Yeah. Common? Yeah. I didn't melt his... It's, it's a long story. He's shy. Yeah, you know what? That's, oh, that's, that's, oh, that's pretty badass. You know what? Just slip me 20 gold pieces and you guys can go in. 20 gold pieces? I know you're good for it. What do you mean you know I'm good for it? Come on, Sadie. When I left here, I had no money. Oh, an illustrious pirate captain like you, come on. How much money do I have? Gold. I don't actually have that much. We could do five four each. Four each. Four each. Oh, oh, five, 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 five each, two. five each, that works. No, okay. four each. <laughs> Fine, four each. Four each. Go. He hands, you hand him yeah. four gold pieces each, and he opens the door. Enjoy yourself in there. Inside, Thank you can you. see congregations of pirate guilds. It looks like there's four of them, and there's a table in the center. Um, there is some rowdy music playing. There are kegs lining in one entire side of the wall, and bottles lining the entire other side of the wall. Um, there are bartenders, um, but it appears that the drinks are free. Nice. Mm. Do I see, just from like first initial glance, anybody that I recognize? Um, you would recognize all four of the ca pirate captains um, who weren't pirate captains when you were around, but are now the pirate captains. Um, you recognize uh, a human female um, with kind of a long dark brown hair. Um, you remember her first name is uh, Talia, um, but you don't remember her last name. Okay. Um, you see this very androgynous elf. Um, who is holding a spear, sitting at the front table. Um, you knew him as, as Juxley. That's what everybody called him. Hmm. Uh, you can see a triton um, who's pretty fucking swole and is carrying a trident. Um, he, everybody called him Fins, but that's obviously not his name. Um, and you can see a, a dwarf, this a small dwarf female with braided hair, um, kind of dark skin, uh, who is standing on top of the table, um, shouting at people. Uh, she, uh, everybody called her Sherry, because that's all she drank. Mm -hmm. Aww, that's cute. Mm. Whoa. What did really you say Talia just... was? Sorry, she's, was Talia uh, human? She's a human, yeah. Okay. She's around Sadie's age. This nice. is a lot. Yeah, I did not realise how old I was until right now. You're not old, Sadie. Mm. Seeing some of these people's captains now makes me feel just just a bit old. Was this something you used to do? Did you have like parties all the time with all your pirate friends? I mean, we had parties, but not quite like this. I wasn't as involved with the guilds. I kind of done my own thing. Okay, how do we want to approach this? I don't think taking on we're investigating can a viable work. No, these things just work when you blend in and yeah. just act like you're meant to be here. Just get chatting to people, see what you can get. Drunk people will tell you anything. Okay, Wait. good to know. Should should we should we split? Not like that. <laughs> Divide. Should we split up? Divide. 
Might be oh, less intimidating. Area. Should be all right. Okay. In, yeah. yeah, we're in the one area. Yeah. If anything bad happens, we'll be. Mm-hmm. We yell we'll pussy. Back. Pussy, yeah. Pussy. Yell pussy if we need each other. Okay. Okay, we'll start with Thorella. Gaster's going to stick gonna... with Thorella as well. Right, Thorella's going to. Um... She's going to. She's going to, like, tits out, skirt hiked up. And she's gonna like be like, follow my lead. You're very drunk. And like, can, can she? Can, can I have Gaster pretend to be a very drunk man that is about to hire me? Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. He's got like his wallet um, out. Yeah. How much for a night? <laughs> you know, we can negotiate that over a nice pint of ale. Let's have a party. Oh, yes. I I do enjoy a nice party. Uh, he's like got Ruby City dollars in one hand and he's like, Oh, barkeep! <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw, like, like, is there bar stools? Yes. Okay, so Thorella's gonna like sidle up and like, like, hoik herself up onto a bar stool next to like the nearest people and, and kind of listen in on what the conversation is. Sure. She's okay, gonna roll- appear to Mary as well. Roll perception. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, so Ooh, there nice. is a group of elves that are next to you, um, all with uh, spears in hand that are speaking. And uh, one of them turns to another one and goes, I swear to God, I was standing there, ale in hand, looking out over the horizon at our ship. And then suddenly it was gone. And... I must say, I'm rather annoyed about it, because I was meant to be on there. And the other one goes, you were meant to be on the ship? Yes, I was rather drunk, and I uh, didn't quite make it onto the ship by what was meant to be closing dock time. And unfortunately, the ship just seemed to disappear without me. When you say disappear, do you... I was rather drunk at the time, to be entirely honest. That's what you your think. ship left without you, my love. <laughs> it's a tale of dear woe, my dear. You must be very, very sad. You know, I believe that I could cheer you right up tonight, but you'd have to be willing to pay more than this fine gentleman. Gesturing to Gaster, let's see if I can start a bedding war, because I'll get all back <laughs> to him, I'll keep this place. G- Gaster, Gaster looks mildly offended for a second. I don't think that he can outbid me. Well, actually, I just got paid. So, um... Sure, this sounds fun. Uh, let's call it 50 gold pieces. Gaster's like... Gaster's like turning out his wallet and being like... I don't have 50 gold pieces. (laughs) Oh, can I, um, yeah, yeah, but but can he cast illusion magic, though? <laughs> he can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Well, um, uh, I could do, um, 55 gold pieces, I think. Um, the uh, guy goes, well, if I'm really breaking the bank here, I suppose I could go as high as 200. 200, you say? You know, didn't your your father own that diamond mine, Gaster? I don't like to brag about it in public, but um, <laughs> I I suppose he did. Yes, um, I can uh, I can go up to two hundred and fifty gold pieces. Um, can you roll deception here, Thrilla? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! Eleven. <laughs> I'm starting to get the idea that you don't actually want to have a night with me. Look, I know how to settle a bet. I know how to settle this, right? You play each other at... I'm not going to get involved, right? But you play each other at cards. <laughs> you put you put your money in. The winner gets the money. And they get me. I have a much <laughs> better idea. We will fight to the death. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he like fakes up his spear and is like, take your weapon of choice. Gaster just looks over at you and is like, is this, uh, is this how the, what is the end goal here, Thrilla? Look, this is not how you ever fight to the death for a start. For a start, you, I know you, you Chancer. For a start, if you're going to ever fight to the death, you've got to arrange your terms, you've got to arrange your time so you can get your weapon of choice. So, stop being such a melon. I know you, you couldn't get on your <laughs> ship. But let's let's have a, come on, have a nail. Cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> that messes Gaster as he like stabs <laughs> towards Gaster and Gaster takes a back step and the spear just goes past Gaster Thrilla, this is getting very out of hand oh fuck okay am I gonna have to attack this man <laughs> oh my god we've been here two minutes <laughs> um, and yeah, Gaster, Gaster goes it's okay it's okay and he just touches the guy on the forehead then he just drops can I take the spear? Yeah, you can take the spear. I take the spear. It's a very nice spear. It's uh, made up of darn wood. It's got a beautiful silver tip. His friends pick him up. We keep telling him not to fight to the death with people, but he just doesn't listen. <laughs> and they drag him off away. Well, that was eventful. Uh, I think what all we found out was that the ship disappeared. I was open for money, but I think that's this will go for a decent <laughs> amount. <laughs> <laughs> you amaze me, Thrilla. Let's get a drink. Hey, waves down the barkeeper. <laughs> Next up, we get Sadie. What's Sadie gonna do? She's just gonna kind of keep to herself, but like kind of shuffle the next people in the bar and try listening to conversations. It's very difficult for you to keep to yourself. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> as soon as you kind of say a lot to the bar, um, someone walks up to you, um, wearing like a kind of black trench coat um, and a, what, what appears to be like a vest underneath, um, tan-skinned human uh, with a scar across his face. Um, very, very, very handsome, but kind of scarred. Are you... You're Sadie. Sadie Ensworth, yes? Uh, yes, Sadie J. Ainsworth. J. Ainsworth, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Um, I saw that you were back in town. I thought I would come and say hello. Yes, do I know you? No, I don't believe that you do. Um, oh, well. Pleasure. But I have heard much about you. Can I get you a drink? I mean, they're free, so... <laughs> it's more of a courtesy thing, I suppose. Um... What's your name? I, I didn't quite catch that. Um, you can call me Tusk. Well, pleasure to meet you. He looks at you with these kind of like beautiful golden eyes. And the pleasure is all mine. Uh, he grabs a two glass of red wine and hands one to you. So, uh, what brings you to uh, the Pirate Guild meeting? It was never really your thing as far as the books Well, are. no, it wasn't. Um... I'm got some friends here. We're just interested, you know, a bit of an old timer now. I'm just trying to find out what the scene's like nowadays. Oh, friends, huh? Mm -hmm. You travel with a uh, group? I do now, yes, surprisingly. <laughs> Anybody interesting? Nobody you'd know. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Well... <laughs> They're not seafaring folk, so Aye. I doubt you would. Neither am I. So what are you doing here, then? I like to mingle when I get the opportunity. Mingle? Yeah. Why well, here, though, and not somewhere like the Shedding Selkie, since everybody seems to be so obsessed with it? I saw the Shedding Selkie. I walked in. I made a little look around. It's. Uh, I actually saw you there. That's when I knew you were here. But, That's a bit creepy. No, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't. I was here first, actually, in case you've forgotten. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's not really my scene. It kind of smells like seawater in there. I was gonna say, does he smell of seawater? <laughs> no, um, you can roll perception on him. 
perception. Perception, perception. 18. He feels very strongly of the Ruby Seti out of gunpowder. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruby Seti. Yeah. So this going to lean on her hand with like our left hand with our ring on it. Not being obvious <laughs> about it. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's just, you know. I'm sorry, I'm aware that you're married. I am not trying to flirt oh. with you. I wasn't. <laughs> You know. No, I know. Just... It's um, wise to do so in a uh, warehouse full of uh, rowdy pirates. <laughs> I mean, many have tried to before. Any... Well, I was sorry to hear of your loss. Thank you. It's been... It's been tough. Of course. Yes. And are you um, here for just fun or information? I'll be honest with you, we're here for some information. I'm wondering if you could help with that. I might know some people, or be able to know some people. <laughs> well, we've heard that there's been some ships disappearing at the docks recently. Do you know anything about that? I've, since being here tonight, heard some things. People talking about ships disappearing on the horizon, and um, large beasts in the ocean. Dragging people to their doom. It seems strange, though. I've heard of ships disappearing before, obviously, but not from the docks. Yes, that was surprising to me as well. And you and your friends are investigating this? I wouldn't say investigating necessarily, but we're, we're looking into it. And who are all your friends? I do not. I, you know, now you know my name, I know yours. And how does that lead to you knowing my friends' names? It seems more of a tit for tat if I'm sharing information, you know? Well, I'm sure you'll see them about. Oh, well, yes. If I do. You I... see, chaos or explosions, that's probably them. <laughs> yes, yes. I, uh, I would suspect so. <laughs> I expect nothing less from you and for those that you travel with. I'm consistent in the company I keep, I'll admit that. But if you do happen to find any more information tonight, I would be quite privy to hear it. And would you be privy to sharing some of your own information? Depends what kind of information you're looking for. I trade in all manner of information. It's not very specific. I'd like to know more about the people you travel with. I'd like to know more about um, what happened at the Kelpie's Nook. I would like to know uh, more about that blade that you wield at your side. Well, I admit, I'd like to know more about the Kelpie's Nook as well. But I'm still a bit clueless to that. But the rest... Come with information and I'll consider it. A deal. Enjoy your wine, Sadie J. Ainsworth. Appreciate it. He gives like a small bow, and then he leaves. Next we'll take Gwenva. That's guy. Uh, I'm quite curious on Sherry. Sure. Sherry's currently shouting at people. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking insolent bastards! Wait, no, wait, sorry. You fucking insolent <laughs> bastards! None of you can even hold a finger to me in a drinking competition. And she takes like this very large pint of ale, or not very large like tab tabbert tab flagon of ale. Flagon. Flagon. And <laughs> I gave up on the word I was going for. I was just like flagon, <laughs> and <laughs> just downs the entire thing. You're not even sure how that much liquid fits into her tiny body. And then she jumps off the table, uh, the cards kind of go scattering everywhere, and she locks eyes with you, Gwenva. That is the most magnificent beard I have ever seen in my entire life. Oh. Oh, thanks very much, friend. Tell uh, me, where are you from? Looks like you can drink. Uh, it's a funny story, actually. I'm 
Not too sure, but I've been informed I'm from Wungernet. That is a very unusual way to start conversations. I like it. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, what about yourself? Uh, you're uh, one of the guild captains, I hear. She uncorks a bottle of sherry and takes a large drink out of it. <laughs> yes, I am Captain Sherry. Um, I am originally from Brim, but uh, I travel all over the world. You know, I, I do a little bit of everything. Um, well, I'm here with uh, Captain Sadie Ainsworth. Um, we're kind of, you know, we're looking around of some of the weird stuff that's going on in town. Uh, we've heard that some ships are going missing and uh, some people as well. People going missing in uh, Port Malar is like uh, raining in Port Malar. Very normal, you know? The ships, not so much. I've lost one ship of my own and I am not too pleased about it. Right. How, when did this happen? Well, the Cracked Knuckle was my favorite ship. And uh, my uh, subordinate, um, Fists McJones, uh, was leading the ship. Uh, with uh, some sailors on board. And then the next morning I went by to uh, make sure they were all ready to depart and the ship was gone. It was gone. Were they gone with it or...? Yes, they have gone missing and I am furious because fists would never betray me. I... I'm really... Sorry for your loss of friends and ship. Um, Me too. We're... Me too. Well, I'm sure if my friends get some other information from people around here, uh, we'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Until then, me and you should drink. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She pulls out another one. She's like Jim <laughs> Kemboing two bottles of sherry. Like, Let us drink. Dwarf to dwarf. She hands you the bottle and just immediately starts downing that <laughs> bottle. We're going to come back to you once you're drunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eris, you can be next. Okay. Um, Eris is going to head up to the bar mm -hmm. and um, ask for a drink. The bartender is a elvish man with a very long pointed mustache <laughs> he is bald otherwise no hair on his arms even he just has one very long pointed mustache but no is it like is. one hair or is it like no perception <laughs> what's that guy is there not a bad guy in like sonic yes yes yeah <laughs> you're pretty sure it's just two hairs <laughs> two oh very God. thick hairs but like um, yes, can I get a drink, please? Um, any recommendations? I personally like alcohol. I do like alcohol, yes. Um, red wine, please. Sure. He pulls out a bottle, pours a glass, and So, uh, you're not a pirate? Because <laughs> I looked at yourself and go, What do you think? I wasn't asking, I was telling. Yes, you're telling. Well, mm. you are correct. Yes. So what brings you to a pirate's guild party, if you're well, not a pirate? Friend. Friends for pirate. Pirates don't tend to have friends outside of their friend group. Well, I'm in their friend group. So we're going round in circles here. We are. What are you doing <laughs> here? Um, just having a look around. Um, you know, new to Port Malar. At least I am. Oh, have you been to the Shedding Selkie yet? Uh, once or twice. The band. So good. I, I have heard. What's so good about them? They play good music. What kind of music? He seems confused for a second. Like. Rock? Okay. 
Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just tired, it's been a long shift, you know? Does he smell like seawater? Uh, you can roll perception. <laughs> the perception, night to night, lads. King Bant. King Bant. Yes, he smells like seawater. Lovely. <laughs> We got him. And <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, do you go often? Whenever I can. Well, um, thank you for the drink. Sure, you remind me a lot of my late wife. <laughs> How old does this guy look? He's an elf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It could be any. Elf. It could be anywhere between <laughs> twenty and two hundred. Like you don't know. Thank you. It was a compliment. I'm sorry. Just it, it, it's. I, um, her passing was so recent. It's hard sometimes. Uh, I, I I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, let me know if you need another drink. I I will. Thank you. And he walks away. Podcast. His wife's in that barrel. <laughs> 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 Well, Ambrosia's pissing in everyone's drink. Um. <laughs> You're gonna get Ambrosia killed. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> that to his face. It's okay, baby. You're fine. You're fine. You stay. Ambrosia's gonna get reincarnated as a as a beaver. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not as a person, just no, a thing. <laughs> um. Podkin's gonna kind of just like slip a bit away from everyone and then um, almost kind of act like she's just like she's a worker there because nobody really pays attention to you know <laughs> the bar staff like kind of clearing glasses and seeing if anybody's like watching her friends if there's any like you know suspicious Aragon types in the corner watching her pals. You watch the man leaves Sadie or well, you watch as he watches Sadie from the bar before walking over, and then leaves Sadie and looks around, looking at all of you. You can see his golden eyes flicking in the light of the warehouse. Um, he seems to be scanning for something. He's also is very he, is handsome. He, is he human? Yeah. Right. Tanned human, golden eyes, handsome. That's the yeah. description. Oh, and he's got a scar. Yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> wrote that. Okay. Um, has he clocked all of the party? Yeah. So you seen me? Roll stealth as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Stealthy. Listen, Parkins got no stealth. But you never know. She's a bar. She's working in the bar. No, he's clawed you. Yeah. Does he keep looking for anything? He's like still scanning around. He looks at you and he kind of smiles at you, but he's looking around looking for something. I was going to walk up to him with, like, all these empty glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise you were Are looking you... here, Podkin. Um, I'm sorry. I don't. Have we met? Uh, oh no, sorry. I'm a f well, a new ac acquaintance of uh, Captain Sadie J. Ainsworth. Um, she told me about you. No, I did not. See, I know that, <laughs> but I do not. <laughs> oh. No. Uh, yeah. I'm just helping, helping out. Um, if you, you want, I can take uh, some of these glasses off you. Um, no, 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 it's fine. These are, it's fine. Well, I would check your you... hands, but, uh... Um, uh Ambrosia's gonna, like, <laughs> on my shoulder and offer his paw. He takes Ambrosia's paw and shakes it. Um, can you roll a perception uh, check for Ambrosia? <laughs> That's, yeah, give me a sec. Let me get his stats. I have them, I have them. Should have had this up. It's here. I've got it. It's saved. 
a perception check for him, yes, yeah. Please. What okay, whatever I roll, it'll be tw it'll be plus one, whatever I roll. <laughs> Seventeen. Rosa does not like how he smells. How he smells? Yeah. Rosa what does like, he smell goes, like? It just like runs back into your. A very beautiful oh. creature you have there. Thank you. He's obviously a little grumpy today. That's okay. I I'm can sorry. Be grumpy too. I I didn't get your name. Oh, you can call me Tusk. Tusk. And you you know my friend Sadie. Oh, well, everybody knows Captain Sadie J. Ainsworth. That's true. I would begin to know more about you, though. You are um, obviously um, young and. Uh, uh, beautiful and you have a ferret with you and uh, you seem to be giving off this aura of some kind of magic you are interesting to say the least hmm yeah what's well, probably just the mystery that makes me interesting so we all love the mysterious eh he winks at you but it's not like a flirty wink. It's like a okay. like a mischievous wink. It's like a, okay. So do you forgive me, but it looked like you were looking for something. Do you need any assistance? Yeah, no, I was just um, counting heads, I suppose. I can see you all came in together, um, but someone that mentioned that there were more of you than have uh, come in. Who mentioned there was more of us? Ah, you know what? Word gets around. Captain Shady J. Hensworth is back in town. And they had mentioned you were with a man with a metal arm. And he's not here. So I was just confused. Maybe it was just a rumor. Can I do a check on him to see if he seems friendly towards... Obviously, I know he's talking about Orland. If he seems... You can rule inside. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of a way. I didn't want to just be like, can I roll insight? I was trying to think of a way. Oh, I get that. Where's Orlin then if he's not here? At the shedding cell, okay? Oh no. <laughs> he's getting indoctrinated. He's reeking a seawater. He's telling Landy all about his wife. <laughs> 15. Um, no, he seems, uh, he seems pretty friendly. Hmm. <laughs> Why? You you don't want to kill him, do you? Because seriously, the amount of people that want to kill us is ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> no, no, no. This is ridiculous. Just curious about all of you. You're very interesting. Mm. Not often people travel through from Missouri, I assume? You were coming from that direction? Uh, yeah, we came from Missouri. Ah. And yeah. what, what has brought you all together? You know, we, we just, we had a job together and we just never really left. Guess you, we just work well. Do you like them all? All the other uh, good companions? Yeah, they're, they're pretty great. Yeah. Um, you sound surprised. Not surprised, no. Just, uh, you know, uh, you're all very different, uh, I would imagine. Uh, you know, um, it's uh, interesting. I, how would... You've never met us. <laughs> How would you know? No, I mean, even just looking at you, for instance, uh, you are clearly much younger than Sadie, and you are not a pirate by any uh, stretch of the imagination, so... Um, difference there, just purely in, in that. And the man with the robot arm is meant to be even older, so... Uh, it would be like traveling with your grandfather, I imagine. <laughs> no, he's more of a dad. He's more of a... <laughs> A family man, is he? I mean, we're like a family. You are very interested in all of us. Oh, I'm just making conversation. What about you? Who are you here with? Oh, I'm just here by myself. Making inquiries. Uh, looking at things. You're here by yourself? So you're not a pirate? No, no. I am uh, just a lost soul. 
Well, how did you get in here then? I thought this was a pirate's guild. There are ways into everywhere on Podcast. Good luck on your travels. 20 gold. Yeah. 20 gold. Well. Yeah. And good luck with whatever you're searching for. As you kind of walk away from him and head back into the crowd, he goes, You know, you're much prettier up close. Oh, that was creepy. And then he disappears into the crowd. Oh, does he smell of seawater? No, he doesn't smell of seawater. He just smells I'm bad. gonna I'm gonna use my cane that um Thrilla gave me and speak with animals to Ambrosia and be like, hey, why are you being so rude to that guy? <laughs> Shaking your hand. That fucking guy smelled like gunpowder. And bullets. Oh yeah. Yeah. And bombs. Doesn't Orleans smell like that? And bombs. Yeah. Explosions and awfulness. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I should. Maybe we'll say he says like he spoke to Sadie, so maybe Sadie knows who he is. Maybe he's just you know a seller of bo bombs. I don't, like, I don't like bombs. Taverns. You know this. I don't like bombs. Don't like bullets either. I know. No. I know. I know. Now give me a drink. <laughs> don't be so demanding. Fine. <laughs> Come on. I'll take him to the bar and be like, whiskey, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you were talking there with him, like, on <laughs> your bed, it looked like he was, like, having a conversation with you. He just, like, face plants so... into the whiskey. <laughs> so that was so one day. Right? Speaking Oh, Thorella? What was that? That was split, right? He was looking for Orland, and Orland didn't come. I don't know if We don't know that. Split just I left. I'm not even there. there. At the mm -hmm. tavern, Split just left, so I don't think it would be Split. Uh -huh. I That's think why. Split wouldn't spend time talking to us. Because he knows where Orland is. Yeah. yeah. But it, this guy's definitely not good vibes. Mm -hmm. I think he's been watching us for a while, maybe. Go up to Sadie and be like, What was with that really weird guy? I don't know. He's been to me for a while. He talked about he traded in information. <sighs> he was being all like weird and mysterious, and he was like, "Oh, Podkin, you're really beautiful up close." Like, you knew your name. Said, Wait, did you tell him your name? No, you told him my name. I didn't tell him your name. I didn't tell him anybody I was with. He said that you told him my name. No, he asked me. Who are you here with? What are the names of your friends? And I said, why do you need to know that? Ooh. Why is Minnie's drink on fire? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I'm at a pirate shield party, so I have the pirate drink. It's well. also bright green. What are you drinking? <laughs> it's blue. This it's really is... blue. Oh my god, James. I'm so sorry. No, it's green. green. This is green. I'm it's so green. sorry. It's green. Oh, okay. it's it's the green. This is straight vodka. What kind of vodka? Oh, is it the bison vodka? No, it's um, AU watermelon vodka. Ah, mm -hmm. it's nice. It's, uh, it's not as good as the raspberry one. It. Um, no, I, I do this with my vape where I go. Oh. <laughs> I missed that part. I just saw smoke yeah. <laughs> pouring uh, out of the glass. Uh, it, that amuses, is cool. it amuses me, I'm sorry. It's very, it's very cool. A fun little party trick. <laughs> I did not say anything about any of you to him. Oh. He seemed kind of interested in him. Um, and I think he was maybe looking for all of us. And then obviously Orland's not here. Okay. Um, you're sticking with me. Don't. I don't want you speaking to him. I don't really want anybody speaking to him. Okay. Ambrosia also spoke to me and says that he smelt of gunpowder and like bombs and bullets and mm. stuff. And he did smell a bit of Ruby City. In the meantime, he's walked up to Eris. Oh, oh my no. god! <laughs> Not my <laughs> other child! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see that like, carrying like Podkin and Eris and Gwen for like this. Like, leave my child! <laughs> <laughs> um, 
sorry to bother you. Um, it's I, I off type. You're Eris Ilrun, right? From Ruby City. Um, yes. Have we met? No, sorry, I'm Tusk. Um, I knew the Ilruns in, uh, in Ruby City. I oh. recognized you and I thought I would come over and give my condolences. Thank you. Appreciate it. I would say, can I buy you a drink? But they are free. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, do you mind if I sit? See what? Sit with you. Oh, sit. Yes. Um, sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you. He sits down in the chair next to you. <laughs> so, uh, what brings a beautiful girl like you to these uh, pirate guilds in the middle of Port Malar? Just seeing the sights, getting some culture. Well, I find that I am seeing sights right now. <laughs> um, are you sorry? Are you here with someone? I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh no, I'm um, some friends. Oh, friends. Yes. That's nice. I was wondering how you got into a pirate guild party. Who well, are your friends? I'm pretty cool. Um, you probably wouldn't know them. They're about. Well, I'm sure if you point to them, I'll be able to. What kind of vibes my gang from him? Um, you can roll and say uh, with disadvantage. Yeah, I. That's fair. Because he's trying to fluster you. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Eris is kind of confused and flustered and was like, "I'm, I'm not pretty." He's giving uh -huh. like flirty, <laughs> cute vibes. How old does he look? Um, like. 22? 23? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, then she just like totally like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Was Sadie, Captain Sadie J. Ensworth? That is Captain... Sadie J. Ensworth? Yes. Oh, I've, I've heard all about Captain Sadie J. Ensworth. Well, she lives up to the legend. Um... And more. In fact, there were rumours around town that she was going around with a... A, a group of people... Are you one of the group of people that's... Just traveling around with? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. And there was um, a, a, um, a half-elf uh, girl and a dwarf and uh, a very pretty older lady and a man with a robot arm. Is that right? When you, when you say it like that, we are quite a strange group. Well, you're very noticeable, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially you. <laughs> Flatterer. So, tell me about them. How did you get in with this group? It's a very long, very strange story. We took a job together and then kind of, you know, never went our separate ways. And do you like them all? Of course. They're like family. Okay, let's play a game where I'll just mention one of them at random and you just tell me your favorite thing about them and your least favorite thing about them, yeah? This is very strange. This doesn't happen. This is this is flirting. This is normal flirting. I don't really have much experience in normal flirting. He uh, reaches over and he grabs your hand and goes, Don't worry, I'll guide. Which hand? He's sitting on your right, so he grabs your right hand with his left hand. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll... Yeah, stab him. <laughs> I'll lead, don't worry. Okay, go on. Um... The man with the robot arm, what's he like? Kind. And thoughtful. He's always there. Ah. That's nice. I'm glad you have someone in your life like that. I'm very fortunate to know him. To know all of them. Well, this has been fun. <laughs> oh my... God, are we seeing any of this happening? <laughs> like me talking? You're probably catching the end of this waiting conversation. Well, I'm coming over there. <laughs> he kind of looks over his shoulder Electric and sees Sadie coming and goes, eh, Well, um, this has been lovely. I should probably go before your assigned mother comes. Um, oh, um, it's, nice, it's nice meeting you. Of course. He reaches over and he kisses your hand. Until next time. <laughs> he looks like a deer in headlights at Sadie and then scampers into the crowd. I'm going after like, them, blushing. <laughs> and being like, stay there. 
<laughs> Eris is blushing so hard. <laughs> it's like... You follow him through the crowd. Can you roll perception, please? It's a perception Seven. section. It is. Uh, no. Yeah. Perfect. Um, you manage to follow him all the way through the crowd as he gets to the other side of the bar. And you can see him standing there. He's leaning up against the bar. Oh, uh, Captain Sadie. Uh, how can I help you? What is going on? Just uh, making my rounds, talking to people, and trying for information, you know. Don't play idiot with me. What do you want, Sadie? What do you want? I'm just trying to find some information, that's all. About who? Me? Oh, or my it's... friends? Orland? Obviously. What do you want with him? I mean, inevitably, a painful death, but... Oh, it's fun. For now, I do think... I... You... Is this... Split and can I tell from like body? He like wipes away his cheek and makeup comes off, and you can see ragged, horrible, burnt <gasps> skin underneath. <laughs> Sorry for the deception. I think you better leave. I think I'd better. Orland's not here. I'd better go pay him a visit. I'd rather you didn't. I know. And I'd rather he never visited my village all those years ago. You're a good person, Sadie. And so are your friends. I don't mean any harm on any of you. But Revenge is never the way to go. I don't want to see any harm to you. You don't deserve it. You've been through enough pain and I would know how that feels. But getting your own back is never going to work. I have been chosen to dole out divine justice to those that wrong to my village and my people. Who chose you? Whoever brought me back. I'm very sorry That's... to have, um, I shouldn't have lied to you all. I am no, a... you shouldn't have. I have the utmost respect for you and your friends. But do not stand in my way. If you're going to try hurt my friend, I'm going to have to. Then you will be smited as well. I'd like to see you try. I have places to be. He takes a step to the side and shimmers out of existence. Get kill him. God. Good job, Thorella, <laughs> for realizing that it was split. <laughs> Good yeah. job, Haley. <laughs> I'm like, nah, it's not gonna be simple. We just saw him like a half yeah. hour ago. Yeah, he knows where Orland is. <laughs> He's just doing Wait, some reconnaissance. It doesn't take that long to use the disguise kit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the information he got was, I'm sus of you, I'm sus of you. Orland's really nice. He just wants to know if yes, you guys were nice. We but figured out like... that Split can flirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Split fucks. Like, canonically, <laughs> canonically split fucks. <laughs> um, I think we should take our break just now. Or, at the two, uh, or should we, well, maybe we should wait for Robert. And then, uh, if no, we wait for Robert to get here and then, then break for him to get ready. Yeah, that makes yeah. more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're going back to Gwenva then. Uh, Gwenva is drunk. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know, you know, I like you, Beady. Oh, right. You, you can call me Gwen if you want. Gwen? Oh, that's a beautiful name, Gwen. I uh, think perhaps you and me should uh, get a boat together. <laughs> a boat? A boat. That's quite 
it's a commitment, but you know what? You seem trustworthy as well. And then we can fuck How? up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. right. Well, actually, I'm I'm currently like seeing someone now. Invite them. <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> Hand you another bottle of sherry. <laughs> I'll be on my boat at midnight. Come find me. Tonight. Tonight. What? Sorry. What's your other ship? Because obviously your cracked knuckles sunk. The swinging fist. You didn't. <laughs> the swinging fist. Oh, the swinging fist. Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh leave your God. leave your brass knuckles in the wool. <laughs> <laughs> I can only like walk up if Gwen was pure and be like, "Hey, um, Gwenny, there's like a really oh, weird guy." Oh, Yeah, yeah. Hi, honey. Hi. Are you making friends? Okay. Oh my god, I've just seen the cat! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why do I picture that who you're talking to across the table? <laughs> like, there's some time Gwenva's been speaking to a cat. <laughs> it's just, it's Arkle. Arkle is across the table. Oh, she's back. Arkle is stealing the boats, for sure. <laughs> With Ara. Sorry, what did you say in floods? There's like a really weird, handsome, tan guy going around, and if he asks questions, we have not to say anything. If Sadie says we have not to say anything, just, you know, don't give information. Are you drunk? No. He is very drunk. You know, <laughs> they, they are, she is very drunk. We've been here like 15 minutes. Well, we've been talking about ships and drinking sherry, and, uh... Oh, this, sorry, I didn't your, even... Is just, this your uh, girlfriend? I... I mean, it's very new terms, sort of. I'll fire! No, that's You'll not necessary. But, like, You'll fight but like for fun. Gwimba, what? Um... I think she likes me. Oh. oh. What, she wants to, like, fight fight me for you? I think so. No, no, no. I want to Ooh. fight both of you at the same time. That seems fun. Now, when you do... When... Gwen Vani, I don't think she means fighting. Um, I don't. Can you make me a deck save? <laughs> Gwen or me? Gwen yeah. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's Gwen <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I've got a plus one now. Yeah, that's gonna fail. That's gonna fail. Um, as you are suddenly hit across the face with what seems to be like a, a fist of brick, as it just slams right across your face. I mean, fight! Right. Gwenba like stands up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Right, come on then. Sure. Um, <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, motherfucker, why did I bring them here? You <laughs> cop that guy that likes fighting people to the death. <laughs> and like, use him as a distraction. Okay, well, she's going first. Um, she's Hang going... on. I'm rolling in as well. <laughs> <laughs> Might not do anything, but just in case. You're not going first, but still, um, you're, you're in there. Um, 
she stands in this like drunken stance and sways and she seems to be very graceful on her feet for like the size and muscle of her and she immediately steps forward faster than you could really perceive and begins to smash into you repeatedly. Um, that's gonna be... She's one of them drunk monks. What the heck? <laughs> oh, she is. That's gonna be. Oh my gosh. Uh, what, what hits and what doesn't? Uh, everything but the last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That is uh, 22, uh, 32 damage, and can you make me a constitution save, please? <laughs> As the last hit oh, reels across your chin, leaving you seeming like you could be stunned. That passes. You're not stunned. Next up is Podkin. <laughs> I'm gonna watch for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, are you. Is this really happening? Okay. Gwen Gwenva. Gwen, Are you alright? Uh Yeah, Gwenva's not gonna summon her weapon, she's gonna start kicking. <laughs> <laughs> Put Put justice. Justice. <laughs> it is now called the puddler punt. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh, no. Attend is not that. <laughs> You only get into that one? <laughs> yep. You you kick out with your foot and she kind of just like walks to the side of it and begins hammering into you again. Is that? Should they just see this? Yes. <laughs> like the end of this next round. <laughs> that is three hits, I imagine. Uh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't have my shield up, so yeah, 19 my armor class. Um, as she hits the first two punches, um, they seem normal. And they do... Oh wait, that's, sorry, that's that's no, that's another attack roll. Ignore that. Um, I was like, god, did I do 23 damage there? No, I didn't. It's fine. <laughs> um, uh, so that's 14 plus 10, that's 24. And then the next one that she pulls back to punch, her fist seems to glow for a second, and then she smashes into you, um, doing 17 damage on that one. Oh, I'm not looking good. <laughs> oh my god! Um, you guys have you guys have got a crowd now. There's a crowd of people all watching as Captain Sherry beats the ever living shit. Baby <laughs> is running over there. <laughs> is it oh, my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Poison's gonna be like, okay, yeah, no, 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 that's not fair. No, -uh. I'm just gonna grab. <laughs> gonna like grab um the back of sherry and at the same time pull out like a little <laughs> cocoon thing and cast polymorph on her <laughs> so i need a wisdom saving throw please <laughs> uh it's a 23. oh what she's a monk but <laughs> wisdom is one of their good things is it yeah Motherfucker! Yeah, that's what they, that's okay. what they use, is wisdom. Okay, so it's gonna fizzle out and she's gonna be like, Sadie! She gonna turn to you as you grab it. Don't worry, you're next. Wait, no, just. Don't worry, you're next, darling. Uh, <laughs> Quinva, you're up. Right, we're using magic now, are we? <laughs> I'm going to put my arm out and make my warhammer come to my hand. You can you see it like there's a slight bit of hesitation from it and then it flies through the door, hits a couple people on the way in, and then lands in your hand. I just got to go oh, and like go for like an uppercut with the my warhammer. Sure. Oh my god, I'm rolling shit. And that doesn't hit. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> uh, I'm going to heal myself as a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely fair. Uh, yeah. We took a third level healing word. Sadie, you, you, you run up. You can roll initiative. Sorella's just watching from the sidelines. Like. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to push through the crowd and nobody's moving for me. I'm like, get out of the fucking way! Okay. Well, I could crossbow bolt this person, but I'm not. Con I'm not concerned <laughs> enough about it yet. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Doesn't even notice. She's still too flustered. Yes. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god. I'm guessing that's four hits. Oh, all hits. <laughs> What's going to be die from this monk? Oh my god. Okay. Let me do this. Um, and can you make me a con save, please? Um, that is 27, uh, 38 damage. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> As you go down, uh, Sherry lifts you up over here and goes, Another 5 1! Ah! And just throws you over into the crowd to drop you down very slowly to the ground. Um, if you guys are still in initiative order, so you can go, but they appear to be uh, going to feed Gwenva a healing potion. <sighs> This seems like, the, well, the way the crowd's reacting, this seems like it happens often. Okay. So they're giving Gwenva a healing potion? Yeah. They've got them on hand okay. specifically for these situations. Um, but yeah, Gwenva, you could have come to seeing stars almost from getting just the absolute shit kicked out of you. And Captain Sherry's standing on the table going, That was a close one! You'll, you'll get me next time. We didn't even hit you once. <laughs> I know, that's it's closer than most. <laughs> ah, I like you. We will buy a boat together. And she jumps off the other side of the table and runs off into the crowd. I love her. <laughs> okay. Motherfucker. <laughs> hey. Thorella, what are you up to? Um... So Thorella, <laughs> so Thorella's um, no <laughs> Thorella's noticed this, and she um, like can, can she ask one of the spearmen like, does this happen often? Is this what would have happened if they'd have fought if if this man had fought for us? I imagine it would have been more interesting than that fight. Um, Captain Sherry tends to fight lots of people in a night. And none of them really scratch her. But yes, this is so very I normal. Don't need... So I don't need to like put put an arrow in her or anything. Oh, I would highly again. She would just catch it anyway. <laughs> it's a well, party trick of hers. Can, can Thrilla approach Gwenva <laughs> and be like, "You're right." Right, wait, wakey, wakey. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Uh, there's a man walking around, uh, getting <laughs> asking about us. Uh, don't talk to Orland. <laughs> don't talk to Orland. It's all Orland's right. He's, he's gone. Right, there was a. No, right. Hold on. Right, so, uh, I need to go buy a boat, um... No, you... What? Don't buy a boat, Sherry. No. And we're gonna take our break right now. Robert has just arrived. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna take our break, get the cameras all sorted, and we'll come back. So, everybody, have our break. Hi, Robert. Hey, guys. Robert, I'm gonna punch Split in his dumb, scarred face. That's so mean. I was like, I'm gonna tell you that was split. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's the matter? Oh, what's, what's Split doing? 
that comes in and flirts with Earth to try and get information on Orland. No fucking way, what? Yeah! I'm... I really gotta go pee. So, okay. Rebecca can tell you, or we'll tell you when we're back. No, she's, she's gone as well. <laughs> I will tell you when we're back. Nice. Ugh. So, chat, how's it going? It's just me. It's you. No. Oh, bloody hell. My roll 20 won't load it up. But that's alright, because it's break time. I've got time to sort things out. Hello. Has Robert been filled in? No. <laughs> Can we count that as a half recap and they get half inspiration? It doesn't mean anything, <laughs> but yeah, it's like a pat on the back. <laughs> it means I know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, we talked about, we met. Suri, who is Devi's sister, who also works at the Selkie. She is very big and strong. And Aww. very hot. Um, and then we went to the guards and the captain of the guard and he was like, oh yeah, it's kind of less people disappearing than usual. Only like a hundred in the last month. But ships have been vanishing and that's weird. Um, like from the docks yeah. specifically. Like, they're one moment, go the next. Alright, that's funky. So then we go to the docks and we get into the pirate party. And we do some oh, talking. Um, yeah, we hear about ships vanishing. Hear a bit more about the Selkie, how the music's really good, but like, what kind of music is it? I don't know. Um, and the guy's not seawater. And then this creepy guy, Tusk, shows up and is like, hey, you're Sadie. And you're hanging out with these people. Guy with a metal arm, he's not here. And he kind of goes to talk to Podkin as well, and then he goes to talk to Eris. And it's like, hey. And tries kind of. I, I, Vinny said, what did you say, Vinny? What did you say? Yeah, so kind of trying to get information out of her, but it was also kind of vibe checking us. And then it turns out it's split. But she ever doesn't know that. Sadie chases him off. Nobody but Sadie knows that. Yeah. Nobody Sadie knows that Sadie chases he, split off. Uh huh. He rubs no, the they, makeup they, off and. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Everybody just thinks it's this guy called Tusk. Yeah. But it's actually split, and only Sadie knows. <gasps> oh, a man wearing sick. makeup. Well, his face was fucked up from before, so I <laughs> makes sense. From when you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just watched the village being burned, and I just sort of fucked him up personally, you know. 
many characters in this world are motivated by my home got burned down. Yeah. yeah. The theme. <laughs> oh. Kinda, yeah. 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 What? Never Crazy. would have guessed. Oh my gosh, I still can't bloody load up Roll20. Ben needs Roll20. You know. <laughs> it's just an RP session, right? Hey, yeah, it's basically I was having issues with it earlier. I'm just making perception checks. <laughs> it's been a lot of perception checks. Oh, oh, Gwen, that... fo Gwenva fought Sherry. Oh, that's true. Gwenva did fight Sherry and lost. Or got beaten up by Sherry. Yeah. Yeah, don't 1v1 a monk. Oh, yeah, it's not going to go well. I like not know she was a monk. I, I kind of want Sherry to fight me. Like... <laughs> I mean, I, I can take Sherry. Yeah. Short, short or... queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do not think you could take Sherry. She's massively overpowered for no reason. Just for laughs. <laughs> Just for the laugh Thanks. track. <laughs> so, you're basically saying we get Sherry to help us fight Split then, yeah? Split she wants to fight running... Winbow, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, Gwenfa. Use your charms. Mm -hmm. Get split killed. Seduce her. Use your womanly wails. Oh, oh man. Podkin was so annoyed with that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Send Podkin. <laughs> Look, she's the one that started putting labels on it and, like, I'm not that... I don't even know what's going on, you know. She's married, she's seeing people, I don't know. Relationships are so complicated. Relationships are so complicated. Mm -hmm. To change the subject here, but Elton John's just announced that he's releasing a new album and it's all like with different singers. And him and Stevie Wonder and Stevie Nicks have done songs together on it. <laughs> and there's one with Miley Cyrus and Yo Yo Ma on it, like on the one track. It's gonna be so chaotic. I really thought you were Wild. gonna say that Ellen John just died. I I was no. like, yeah. I'd be very <laughs> upset. I'd be very upset. Like I just like, hey guys, that's so weird. Ellen John is dead. What? <laughs> oh well. So Orland, uh, so immediately you've been, uh, you've been at the tavern this whole time. Uh, the no. shedding selkie. Um, Oh, that's the, 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 the competitor one, isn't it? Yes, yes. That's where they left you while they went off to do investigative stuff. Cool. Um, uh, I don't think I've been drunk this time. I've just sort of been silently contemplating. That's entirely fair. Um, after some time of silently contemplating, they, they didn't come back to get your uh, thing, so they're all at the party. That's and, okay. Um, we'll do this scene just now so you've got something to do. The door jingles again. And Split walks through the door for the second time that day. Orland, I, I look at him. Does he just seem casual about this? Like. He looks I... furious. I continue just to watch him to see what he does. Does he come to me? Does he just go to the bar? He does go to the bar first. He grabs two drinks, and he comes and he sits down in front of you. And he puts one of the drinks in front of you. A whiskey. What's going on? I've spoken to your companions. How, how do you think they are? They seem to care for you. That's good to know. I had people that cared for me, Orla. Yes. I'm sure you I'm sure you did. I'm sure your life was a lot different before. Before you killed my father. Before I killed your father. And now your thirst for vengeance won't go away until 
Until what? He pulls out a revolver out of his pocket. He flicks it open and he puts one bullet in it. And he puts it down on the table. Me? One of us has to die. Only. No one else. No one else. When do you want to do this? Meet me just outside of town tomorrow morning. Come alone. I'll come alone. In case you decide to take the more honorable way out. He pushes the gun closer to you. And then he leaves. I spent the gun. And Looks old, good. It's an old Ruby City revolver with one bullet in the chamber. How is it comparable to the hand cannon? It's a little bit less damage, but a well timed shot will kill you anyway. True. It's Russian roulette, man. Deciding to put the gun to your temple and firing will just kill you. Like there's no, there's no hit points or anything there. You'll just die. Twenty-seven <laughs> damage. <laughs> just you know, your 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 brains are blown out of your head, and you're like, I actually only like, took eight points of damage. <laughs> um, I I cast absorb elements. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am gonna put the gun away. I'm just going to store it up. Nah, I can't get roll 20 up, shit. Oh well. So you're not going to shoot yourself? If it's some time. No, I, nah, I'm... Oh. I'll give it some time. Okay. That's good advice. Yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, it's been just slow check, tonight. Just checking, just checking if you were going to... Okay. Um, I'm anyway. going to head out and go back to uh, Sadie's parents' house. Or what? Sadie's family's house. Okay. Because okay. I don't... Wait, do I know where the rest of the gang went? No. I'm gonna go back to the house. I feel like we would have told Orland our plan before leaving. Fine. You know they're at the pirate guild party. Ah. And I'll that we back. were going to go and stay at the new Kelpie's Nook tonight, so that we didn't have to go back to my parents' house. Ah, right. You know what, I'll, fine, I'll go back to the party. I'll go to the pirate party, see what I see. Sure. Um, you have to pay four gold to get in. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know how much gold, but I'll assume that I'll pay it. Okay. Um, and you head into the party. Everybody sees you come in. Uh, Gwynva is uh, very dazed still, but um, you have arrived. Just Run, sitting, so, like, no. holding Gwynva's head. Like, Don't talk are to Are you Orland. okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> talk to Or- Honey, you are so messed up. Aww. I'm gonna, like... I got hit in the face so many times. I'm gonna put... Uh, Bodgen's gonna put her forehead against uh, Gwynva's and cast Cure Wounds. So she is... As soon as I can. Oh, there she is. Oh. 17. How much did the healing potion do? Uh, 14. Four? Oh, I'm alright. We should probably get her somewhere that isn't here. Are you sending already? Yes. New rules. No, no getting in pirate fights. None of you can handle it. But you, you didn't say that when we came in. You didn't say well, don't fight. I didn't think I would have to. 
We got this nice spear she... from a pirate fight. I think it might go for a pretty penny, got... actually. <laughs> this is true. I did, I did yeah. fight the pirate and I won. Oh my god. You, f you fought a pirate and you won? I did, yes. Did you I... really, though? Or did you... Oh, I absolutely Like, cheated. did you fight like Gwynva did? No, or... no, I, I cheated. Okay, <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. It was very impressive. I know. Right <laughs> <laughs> like, help Gwenva up. <laughs> okay, so... Are we gonna stake out the docks tonight? From... <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> I'd like to see what it looks like on the inside, so... Okay. Uh, unless you want to party some more. I think I've partied quite enough for tonight. Does that mean you won't be wanting any wine for tonight? I mean, of course I want some wine for tonight. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Thrilla, steal some wine. Righty, I'll... It's free. Uh, oh it's... yes, it's free. <laughs> Thrilla, steal it anyway. I know you like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so Thrilla's just gonna, um, she's gonna go up. To, is it, is it like bottles of wine or like bottles, kegs? Yeah. Bottles. Okay. Yeah. No. She's uh, gonna. Um, she should start shoving some bottles of wine into her, like probably into her bloomers. Yes. I feel like the the big voluminous skirt is a is a good place to hide a bottle of. She would probably have a little pocket built into one of her petticoats. Yeah, let's do that. I'd say you can get six <laughs> bottles of wine together. Six. Yeah. Okay. Am I ruling slight of hand? No, no, you're just so good at it that there's no reason to rule. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you just get you just get six bottles of wine stuffed into your bloomers. Gaster is watching, like... impressed next to her. That's my girl. <laughs> so I'm like Aww. blanking a bit when I walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and together. So you the party all... all together now. Yes, you guys yeah. are all together. Okay. Why did you want to say something? No. Okay. Um, well I just then... wanted to make sure I knew where I was. Well, then you all head together to the new <laughs> Kelpie's Nook Tavern. Um, that is currently not being built because it's you know night, so. Um, you guys can uh, head there, and it's kind of a shell. What, what, what the hell did you see? An enemy. A ghost. Uh, it's probably one of those giant spiders. Yeah. Oh, don't even. Oh my god. Um, anyway, uh, you head to the new Kelby's Nook, and uh, you find that you can pretty easily get into it. Um, the door, the fort door is locked, but you can get into like the building area. So like kind of just like windows that are like slightly ajar that we can get into the building. Most windows are windows, um, <laughs> and none of them are jars. No, ajar. Oh. Like slightly open. Oh right 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 right. Right <laughs> right. Right, right okay. Sure. <laughs> Oh. Sorry. Uh, um, no, no. Um, none of the windows are opened, but you know um, they haven't been installed yet either. So, <laughs> so there's no windows. Yeah. 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 So we can just go through the holes yeah, in yeah, the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're cool. actually, okay. They're actually just holes in the wall. Awesome. <laughs> it's like the frame. It's gonna be a nice warm nice. night, everyone. <laughs> Lovely. So we're staying here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So like, to... I, push oh, uh, I, will, I will describe what it looks like on the inside. It looks a lot like how you remember the old Captain's Nick looking city, um, but the worn, sticky floors are now brand new hardwoods, um, freshly polished and sealed. Uh, the chairs are made from the same upholstery, but um, where before they were this uh, beautiful deep red, they're now this kind of illustrious blue of Port Millar um, with gilding. Uh, clearly there's a lot more money here than was here when the tavern was first made before. Um, but a lot of the characters missing because nothing's really been put in yet. And the, the stairs don't creak like you remember as you walk up to 
the next floor to where the bedrooms would be, or the uh, rental rooms, as they would be. You can find a nice rental room that uh, overviews the, the docks. Um, is there like just for my, is there bedrooms like the where the family stays? Um, yes, it looks like they're well actually it's more like they've built they're building an extension that is like a little house next to the tavern. This looks it's nice. Yeah. It just feels like not where I think that. It's like somebody's taken my house and then changed a few things. It just seems very odd. I I know what you mean. Well, it it just needs some time to get to know the people. Yeah, I think it needs it needs a few drinks spilled. It needs some blood splattered on the walls. You know. Usual mm -hmm. stuff. We can do that. Yeah. Oh, just Let's don't. Start tonight. Please don't hate Gwynva. Nobody hate Gwynva, please. Yes. No if more. I hit Gwynva, I'll just hurt myself. <laughs> no more punching for tonight. We'll let the, the customers do that when this place is ready. Yeah. We should, uh,. Oh, Orlin splits here. Oh my god, he came to the party. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Did we not get told that? No, no we not Sadie Sadie oh, keeps sorry. The secret. <laughs> She's not telling any of you. Sorry. Orlin, this is really hot guy at the party. It's fine. You know what? I think this will just be a good point again. <laughs> Orlin will take out the revolver. And then. Right, uh, no, not that type of I blood said... spill. Nobody hit Gwen. No. No more of this tonight. I bet I could catch that if you shot it at me. No. We are not even testing that theory even remotely. I'll I could catch it with Mage Hand? I'm, go I'm going to take the bullet out that? as well. It's an empty gun. Okay, there you go. Okay. There we go. Pocket, pocket the bullet. This here is Split's revolver. But... And did you get it? Did you get him? Uh, no. S Split came back to the tavern. He said he spoke to you all. Oh, he uh, never spoke to Split. Was Split not at the party? No. <laughs> no. Well, he said you all seem nice people and you all seem to care about me. That means a lot to me, thanks. But basically, I think you convinced him no one else needs to die for what I did to her. Nobody needs people. to die, period. So he's so going to leave option. you alone. He's going to give me a chance to end it just between us two. He is convinced. Uh, not either of us can live on, and not both of us can die. It has to be one or the other. So he's invited me out to, I guess, a duel. There you go. Tomorrow morning, outside of town. No. Oh, and you're not risking yourself like that. I... I'll tell you my thought process. I thought about it. I don't want you, any of you, to become targets because of my mistakes in the past. This way, if I go and fight, I either die and the best of you are left alone, safe, or I win. Same thing, yet I'm alive. But, but, I think I would agree with you all that I can't risk that. I made a promise that I need to survive. I'm not going to take that risk. 
but I'd be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to meet him one last time and try to convince him to stop this. Right. <sighs> Not alone. I feel as if we never had the opportunity, all, all of us, to speak to him without guns blazing, so to say. He might see it's dishonorable. I don't know. But I need him to stop hunting us. We have enough on our plate already. This vengeance that's going on is pointless. It's just in our way. It's helping no one. But otherwise, if we can't convince Split, he'll just come after us again and again. We will be at danger. So, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I need your help. I would like advice. What do we do about this? We're a team. No matter what, you are not dying. There's nothing. There's no way we're letting that happen. Okay. How do we go about this? this? This man doesn't deserve to die either. So, if you're dead, he will leave everyone alone? Well, yeah, but I don't think a temporary death followed by a quick resurrection is going to do the trick, because he did that already. He looked me right in the eyes and stabbed me in the throat. That wasn't enough but for him. What if I had a spell that, for all intents and purposes, made you look dead? I don't think where this is going. I don't think faking all in death What no. He's clearly been able to follow us. He's clearly got some yeah, but, right. knowledge of where Orland is. Orland is not exactly subtle. That's not like an insult or anything, but if I Orland's like alive, split one. Is... I like what Pods is coming with here. If we fake Orland's death and he comes to see the body, and we could all get a jump on him. You know, Orland's not actually dead. He could get up and help us finish him off. This man doesn't deserve to be killed either. He's done nothing. He's he has killed <sighs> multiple people. What if um he's had his whole family killed? Is there any he's way obviously that got justifies the it? I'm not saying it does, but he's got the wrong mindset. But does I he can have in... does he have any gold I... beyond kill Orland? Is there any way for Orland to redeem himself? I don't think so. It, we could ask, but the only answer I'm sure he would give is just uh, the end of my life. Maybe we could do both. We fake Holland's death, get Split to see it, Split will find it, and then we talk to him and try and figure out some way to resolve this. Can we and resolve then it? pretend it's, it's, to bring Orland back, but... And if well, he doesn't agree, then last resort, we kill him. I meant... I, I think he might be smart enough to know if we just say Orland's dead and have yeah. him come over. That's why I think Orland should go to the duel. Hmm? Well, it, it's a suggestion. I think Split needs to believe that he's killed him. How would we if he... do that? Well, it's it's a shoot off, right? I yes. mean, if he fires a shot, and we run towards him, towards our friend, to see if he's all right, I could cast the spell, and that could work. And it could look like splits. Which spell is this? There's a chance you'd get caught casting it, though. I know. I don't agree with this kind of magic trickery that we're going to 
be attempting. I can't agree to it. What if it's just a case you give me a quick revivify if I lose? <laughs> then he'll keep going. But then Arlen, you'll be I think if he me. goes to if he goes to kill you that way, I don't think he's going to kill you in a way that we can revivify. If he does actually. I see. No, you're right. This man has just been doing nothing for the past, what, 15, 20 years? But then training, learning to kill, recovering. I've just been sitting my ass being in retirement. I don't think I'd be able to fight him. Not alone. No. So. And you won't. I wouldn't let you fight him alone. So. We're strong together. We need about, each other. How does this sound for a plan then? I initially walk out of town. You all come with, but stay hidden. Because I think if he doesn't see. Uh, if he sees all of you with me, I don't think he'll want to show himself. No. So my idea is, let him come out first, and then we can reveal ourselves as a group, but not in a malicious way. Does that sound like the best plan? Go for it. It sounds risky, but I None think it sounds like risky. A... None of it sounds like a good plan. Do you have any ideas, Sadie? I don't know, but I just think any situation where we're going to see him is never going to end well. What else can we do? I don't think he'll come to us. If we don't, he's just going to keep chasing. And next time he might not be polite enough to ask for a a conversation first. Can I check out the window? Yeah. There will be perception. Oh! I nice. see all. Sure. Let me, set the, <laughs> let me set the scene for you. Across on the docks, you can see a small dwarvish lady who you recognize to be Captain Sherry, <laughs> walking up towards a ship, scrambling for her keys, and she drops them on the boardwalk, and uh, she kind of gets down on her knees to grab them, and a figure emerges from the shadows. No, go Sherry! And very quickly, in like the blink of an eye, you see this long-haired individual with kind of maybe human or elf features you can't quite see, take a long blade and slit Captain Sherry's throat. Dog guy! Is it the dog guy? Pick up the keys, unlock the gate at the front of the ship, and walk <gasps> onto the ship, leaving Captain Sherry bloody on the dock. Somebody just killed Sherry. What? I'll splits? point at the window. Oof, I don't think no. so. It, someone slit her throat. For sword. Human, elf, I'm not sure. Long hair. Where did they go? Onto the ship? Onto the ship. Onto the ship. No. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm gonna jump out the window. I'm gonna back out the window. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cast levity on myself. <laughs> We're on the second floor, guys. Yeah, casting levity on myself. I'm jumping out the window. The ship is shimmering. Is it going to vanish? Mate. And we better be if I go on the ship and it vanishes, but then also we get right. lore. Run. Run, run, yeah, run. I, eating for the ship. Sure. Um, what's your run speed? Yeah. I cast an uh, expeditious retreat on myself. Well, that's a shout. Oh, I don't have it anymore. Get rid of it. Fuck. And then 30. And Thorella, what's your run speed? 
my running speed is... I think it's still 30. But you can dash as a bonus action, so it's 90 per round that you can do? Let's do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, How far away is the ship? Far enough that in the time that it's shimmering, uh, Orland and Thorella make it to the make it onto the ship. Ooh. All right. Does the um, fact that I'm flying out the window make any difference? No. No, that's fine. <laughs> How? Hang on, hang on. Can I? Is it within 120 feet of me? Uh, sure. I'm gonna try and cast the spell magic. Sure. Might not. I can do anything. But uh, can you just roll me a d20, please? I can. <laughs> Six. No, the spell fizzles out in your hand. Can I cast okay. the spell magic? Sure. Can you roll me a d20? Go. Uh. <laughs> the spell fizzles out even harder in your house. Oh my house. god! <laughs> oh my god. Can, I, can I see the guy? <laughs> um, no, because you guys are at the no. bottom bit. But anyway, um, okay. Thorella and Orland make it onto the ship. And you can see standing at the helm of the ship is a uh, man that Thorella you recognize. Thorella? This is a really bad time, darling. He's holding a blue orb in his hand, and it is lightly shimmering. You <laughs> recognize the face of Jack Spratt. Oh, it's Jack! I drove him <laughs> Really, there's no reason for that, darling. I draw my crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to shoot him? <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead and fire. Oh, my God. I'm going to shoot him with my. Hold on. Oh, hold, hold on. on. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him with my lightning arrow. Okay. Well, do I get advantage because I'm the first to act? I'll give you it. Go ahead. So the assassin, eh? Assassin. Assassin. That hits. Nice. Okay. And then we've got... That damage. <laughs> Just seven. Plus, what, what does the lightning arrow do? 1d6 lightning damage, plus you have your sneak attack because you had advantage. Cool. So 1d6 lightning damage. Oh, plus a uh, 4d6. Nice. The arrow stabs into his shoulder. Uh, I'm going to do a con save here. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can see his body light lightly convulses with the lightning. And it looks like he's about to drop the orb when he grasps his grasp, his grasp around it. He always works. I hate. Fucking bitch. Um, Am I <laughs> magic missile? Hold on, I gave Thorella this because <laughs> it was it was narratively interesting, right? But the... <laughs> it just would feel a mess if I was just standing around not doing anything. So you got to do that because she's an assassin, right? It was narratively interesting. The ship is shivering out of existence. And he tugs at a necklace around and throws it onto the ground, and it cracks. Uh, well, now I know you're in town. As smoke begins to fizzle around him, I have to be more careful. He snaps it off as he disappears, and so does the ship. Can you both make me constitution saves? Oh fuck's sake! So the ship's disappearing from under us. Yeah. Oh my god! It's not even turning invisible. It's just um. like disappearing. I've got a classic genius, that. That's fair. So that's, well, uh, so, uh, shit. Sorry, I can feel 18. yourself shimmering 
thriller as oh, if no. as if you're about to disappear too can you make me a deck save please nice uh nice so nice. as you feel yourself shimmering you manage to jump over to the boardwalk and uh, get yourself out and as you do you feel yourself becoming corporeal again um, as you hear very confused shouts of sailors who are just waking up uh, in the under decks before the ship completely oh, no. vanishes um, you Orland on the other hand drop straight down into the water I guess I do it then but the big splash. Is it quite the drop? Um, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's like a forty foot drop. I cast Featherfall on myself then. You lightly splish into the water. Bloop. Just like a. Ah. Oh. I'll just get my cable whip and I'll just <laughs> fire it at the the wall and like sort of repel me to the wall really quick. Yeah, you and get you, myself up from like it. Climbing your way up. Um, but really, everybody, else, because... everybody joins yeah. you on the top, and you're now all on the, the dock together, around Captain Sherry's body. I'm gonna, um... I, I, I don't... Oh. Thorell is gonna pull out her dagger. And be, I understand how suspicious this is going to make her look. She's not thinking. <laughs> She's going to pull out her dagger and, like, kind of thingy it in her hands a bit. And then she's just going to start stabbing the boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> and let out, like, a, a scream of frustration. It's okay. I check. It's okay, Drilla. It, uh, it was just Captain Sherry. She beat up Gwynva. I could have got him. I almost got him. We'll get him next time. It's alright. I'm sorry, I couldn't do more there. Not much help. We need to find out where that ship went. That would be a good start, I think. What, Does anyone know how to... kind of magic that was? I was on top of the ship. Could I... He was holding a blue orb. Could that mean anything to me? Um, you can roll an arcana check. I will. Twenty. Um, it looks like a much bigger version of a sanding stone. Ooh. What, like the ones that I used to contact my kids with? Yeah, but it's just much, much larger. Okay, group chat. Yeah. Ow. Group Sorry. chat. Right, yeah, this but... is this is the Hello. Facebook Messenger. Of <laughs> oh, sending some. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if he was in contact with a lot of people, if we, or if that was using some sort of conjuration. Yeah, has there ever been a sending stone that can send more than just voices? Send objects. I don't think so. Do Do we have anyone that can locate certain objects they're familiar with? I'm not particularly familiar with ships. Like, not ships in general, but just, I don't know, this one in particular. I, I, I do not know this ship very well. That's fair. Uh... Can I virtually cast Detect Magic on the area where the ship was? Um, yeah, that'll take you, you know, some minutes. Yeah, it will. Well, this conversation's happening and stuff. She, she knows the ship really well. Can we not bring her back? It's been a minute yet. It's been oh, too long. It's been. Think. It's been too. Oh, long. Re Rebecca, you're muted. If that's any. Oh no! Yeah, I was basically being like, I'll look over Sherry. Sherry, all right. Sherry's dead as fuck. She got, she, she she's been sliced right down to the bone. Her neck, just a Jesus. big bloody mess. Um, she oh. she's got a really happy look on her face though. Because she was very drunk when it happened, so. So sad. Oh. I think of what we last rites. Close your eyes. 
Right, so we're the authorities here. We should probably report this. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Do we report to the guard or to the pirates guild? What if they think we did it? What? What? We are the only ones who have been here. We are the only ones around when we saw the ship disappear. We, they all know that uh, you fought Gwynva with uh, with her at the party. What if they add everything up and think we did it? They can they can't just me. leave her here. There are ways around Zone of Truth. Are there? Look. What ways? Can you tell me? Look. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Maybe this is not the right time to be going around telling the truth. I'm not leaving her here. Well, we could always just drag her into the water. No. That what? This is even more suspicious, Gaster. Look, I'm just saying that um, telling the truth might end us with us in a Port Malar jail, and I do not want to go to a Port Malar jail again. I'm not going to let us go to Port Malar jail. You're what? Well, we've literally done nothing wrong, and you're suggesting we do something wrong to avoid getting into trouble for doing nothing wrong. If anything, we have a lead onto who's actually taking all these ships. You have clearly not had yeah. enough encounters with the guards. They will be wanting a quick well, the guards... and easy way to uh, have all of this closed up. And we are adventurers who have come in recently out of town and <laughs> ships have been disappearing, uh, people have been dying. We are going to get it put on us and we'll end up in the Port Millard jail next to Jambison for all we care. Caster, from what yeah. we have heard, the guards don't even deal with the the things at the dock. It's the pirate guild. Oh, you know, so it's going to be even better. We'll go to the pirate guild. We'll say, hey, we found your pirate captain dead. Oh, also, we're a group of powerful adventurers, and we're probably the only people that could have killed her. We so have seen people that could have killed her. Maybe? Clearly, but they don't know that. Look, I'm just saying think about this for a second before we rush on in and start telling the truth. There are other things we can really, tell, like lies. getting on my last fucking nerve. Right, Farella, who was this person? You, you seem to know them. That was an old colleague of mine. Uh, the one who ran away with all of my money. And I told myself that I would uh, kill him no matter what and, and I intend to do that so I want us to do whatever's gonna find us more information on that ship and I don't see I don't know I, I, I don't see how lying aids us in that Oh. Because we saw what we saw, and if we can't admit that we saw what we saw, we're not going to get, we, we're not going to meet anyone else who might have seen what we saw. Is, is there in anyone fact, else about it? Th there was, in fact, at the Pirate Guild party, there was a man who saw the ship sparkle and disappear that he was meant to be going on. He offered to fight us to the death. This is true. I didn't actually kill him, though. Um, is that another lie? No, and I just don't want us all to end up not in a position to be doing the right thing. That's all. So you want us to not do the right thing so that yeah. we can do the right thing? Yes, essentially. Just leave her body. Very flawed. I just don't quite trust we'll authority. Have... That's all. Well, how about half of us go and report what's happened here, and the other half go back to the tavern? I probably shouldn't leave her body alone. I can stay here. I can stay here too. But I'm still casting the spell, so... I'll go well, and find thing. someone. Okay, so... I'll come with you. Right. Lorella, you staying or going? Who's going to the guild hall? Is anyone going to the guild hall? Yeah. I'll go to the guild yeah. hall. I'll stay here. You're welcome to go back to the Kelpie's Nutcaster if you want to. 
No, uh, just because we all disagreed on with me about what we should do doesn't mean that I don't believe this is a democracy and I'm not going to help with whatever we do do. I just, uh, I had a difference of opinion. I thought I should share it with you. So you do. I respect that. He'll, uh, cast a couple of illusion spells to make, like, a perimeter around the body. A remeter? Yes. Her Very remeter. professional. It just, like, says police tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest group of police I've ever seen. <laughs> um, okay. The neighborhood watches back. <laughs> <laughs> it always comes full circle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, people who are going to the guild hall. Um, the party is kind of dying down at this point, um, but the guild leaders are still there. You guys have already paid your four gold each, so you can head on in. What's your plan? Uh, geez, should we tell? Should we tell the other guild leaders? We think so. Yeah, I think we should get kind of like side table with all the guild members and inform them what's happened. All right. Okay. I like are all the guild leaders together. They all sit at a table in the middle of the room. Shall approach them. They're all arguing about what weapon type is the best at the moment. Ah. Uh... Good eve, uh, morning. Um, sorry to disturb your conversation, but there's been um, there's been a murder. One of them kind of turns to you. Yeah, you notice it's the kind of androgynous elf. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty normal for a pirate party. No, no, no. This is a, a murder out on a on a dock and a ship theft. Disappearance? Again. Fairly normal for a pirate party. Is this is there something more specific that you could Yeah, no, it's uh, it's Captain Sherry. Oh god, Captain Sherry murdered someone again? Oh Jesus. No, no, somebody no. murdered Captain Sh Sherry. Somebody murdered Captain Sherry? Yeah. The knuckle pirates will be mine! And he stands up. <laughs> Quickly, spearmen! <laughs> take them down! And all the spearmen begin running over, and there's, you, basically this massive brawl starts in the warehouse between the knuckle fighters and the spear fighters. Ooh. Ooh. Um, do you, I don't know if um, you understand. Someone's been killed. Sorry, yeah, Gwenda, go, go. Gwenda, help me. Right. Uh, yeah. There's. You, the, the ships are going missing. Um, we found out who's doing that, um, but uh, they have killed uh, Captain Sherry in that process. While well, um, well, you're talking, teeth are like flying past you. Oh my god. <laughs> can, I, um, can I approach I the head? I don't of think the any. The head of which one? The spear fighters? Oh, yeah, spear? sure. He's currently got two knuckle fighters, like. Around his, his spear is like got them in a headlock, and he's like choking both of them out. Can I just be like, I bet you'd like to know what what the bastard was stole your ship, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. I loved that ship like it was my own son. <laughs> well, uh, who's the man who works for you, always fighting people to the death? Uh, Terry? Yeah, did Terry say anything funny about when he saw the ship disappear, like it got all sparkly? Terry's always saying funny things. No, that's the truth. There's, uh, the, the, the slimy git what did it, his name's Jack, and we need to find him so I can kill him. Both of the <laughs> people that he's strangling go limp and fall to the ground. We can do this. I. That's right. We can do this. I. We can get our ships back, and we'll be the most powerful of the pirate guilds. By my spear! Now, now how does 
does some asshole go about making a ship all sparkly and then it goes away? Somebody tell me. He had a big orb. He had a big ball. <laughs> big blue ball. I know a, I know a wizard who can help us. Pointers, keep killing. I'll come with you. You just see like people are getting stabbed out on the ground. Some of the fist guys have picked up spears and are now pretending to be spearmen so they don't get stabbed. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a whole battle going on in this warehouse now. But um, Captain uh, Ca Captain Juxley agrees to go with you to help you out. Yay. Well, I feel really oh. bad now. No, yeah, me too. I thought we were doing something good. Don't tell Gaster. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing something good. We're gonna find this man and we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him really hard. We're gonna kill him uh, slowly if we can. And then uh, there won't be there won't be none of him left. And that's a good thing. I feel thing. like, you know, though, but they're all now killing each other in here. It, Should we? Seemed, I think that's what pirates do, Podkin. But I mean, it seems kind of counterproductive, you know? Like, they've just found out their captain's dead and now everybody's stabbing each other. The other two pirate groups are just kind of the other two pirate groups are just kind of looking on. Some of them are dropping their mm. weapons and picking up spears, clearly seeing the way that order is shifting. Be like, mm, maybe I should be switching sides here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast enlarge on myself so that I'm like <laughs> bigger and I have a much bigger pair of like, <laughs> like a deeper voice. That might actually be heard over this fucking madness. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, <laughs> oh no, oh no, boy. I'm gonna be like, um, I was so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, stop! <laughs> Can you, you roll intimidation at advantage, please? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yeah, just give me a second. Oh. <laughs> Advantage? Okay, because yeah. I'm a big. Because you're big. Beefy. Intimidation. You're like the same size as Surrey. <laughs> a, a couple of them stop and, like, see you and run over and begin hugging your legs. What? <laughs> Hugging my mostly, leg? Mostly the dwarves. Like, big lady. A <laughs> big lady. Could I keep, Oi, <laughs> could no. I keep going like. Get away. Why? Get away. <laughs> why are you all <laughs> fighting? One person like stabs at your foot, and a couple of the dwarves like jump over him and drag him down to the ground. Um. <laughs> A woman has died. A strong, powerful woman has died, and you'll all be next unless you organize. I don't know why she's now like changed accent, but I'm, this is how it's going. Hey, <laughs> this is her authority voice. You need to organize. Pirates together, strong. <laughs> Um, this seems to be their way of organizing. Um, they they oh go, they God. look around at you and they nod. And they go, we need to organize, and they just keep killing each other. <laughs> but like more fervently. <laughs> Quimba, with, with I more, made it with worse. more rancor. Pumpkin just stay forever. I'm just gonna turn down hey, and just try and walk out the door. <laughs> dragging There's, dwarves on her feet. The dwarves are like dragging around your feet. Um, 
they occasionally look up here and look like these big, huge eyes and like, Mommy. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. I, I will happily mercy kill these people for you, bud. <laughs> There's no need, Queenie. There's no need. Anyway. I'm just gonna like pick them up and be like placing them down. As soon as you Some place them down, walk. they're like impaled on spears. Oh, no. oh gather them <laughs> to me. Gather them. <laughs> um, but eventually, you guys all make it out with Captain Juxley and head back to the boardwalk. Um, on the boardwalk, right before you guys head back, um, after Gaster's done putting up the perimeter. I am sorry. I. Didn't mean to uh, cause any offense or anything. It's all right. You were probably right. This is the better course of action. Could have options, but sure. I just got a good conscious. Leave fellow pirate dead. On the dock. Yeah. Well, hopefully if everything goes sensibly, we should be fine. Around this time, large podkin comes over <laughs> the small hill towards the dock. <laughs> Has my detect magic finished casting it? Yes. Yay. Yeah, there's uh, some kind of teleportation magic. Okay. There. Um, if you roll an arcana check. You can tell where it goes. Ooh. 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 Okay. Do it. Right. Oh, that I can. Yeah, Be clever. Okay, good vibes, everyone. Good vibes. Good vibes, good vibes. I'm going to add a add... 10 to that using Devil's <gasps> Dark One's own luck. Oh. Yes. Do it. 19. 19. For good measure, flash of genius had sex to that man. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was waiting for it, that's why I didn't say anything yet. Yeah. It seems to go in the direction of one. Oh, 25! Oh, oh, fuck. It's for the that war, isn't it? It's for the oh. fighting. Actually, with a 25, it seems to go somewhere underneath one grenade. To the, 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 the underdark? Obviously, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> it's... Okay, teleportation magic, definitely. It just kind of sets up like closes a book. It's been taken to Wooden Grenade, but not quite underneath Wooden Grenade. Underneath? I don't know, it's ground. underneath. That's where it goes. I don't know what's underneath it. Strange. Maybe oh, so I'm trying no con- Gwen probably no. She yeah. doesn't know anything. Nah, nah. <laughs> 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 are we back? <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are back now, you guys are back now. Oh yeah. It's not what I thought I don't know anything. <laughs> Why are you so tall? Wyndon. I was trying to inspire <laughs> Fire morale <laughs> amongst the pirates. Did it work? Yeah, um, like towards Gaster and I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything uh, is fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, turns out, you know, saying that uh, a guild captain's died in front of the other guild captains, um, Cause a sort of um, hunger for power on the absent leaded party, and um, so the yeah the the punchy pirates are no longer a unit. Oh, that's a shame. There's absolutely no loyalty anymore. No, I suppose in your day there was though. I'm sorry, I'm Captain Juxley. Uh, uh, you're Captain Sadie J. Ainsworth. Yeah, yes, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure, yes. I've heard many stories about you. Um, 
this is uh, Sherry. This was Sherry, yes. And I suppose she's beyond revivifying. Unless you know any stronger magic, I'm afraid so. Ah, not any that I waste on her. That's fair. Um, do you mind if I just check the body? Oh. Um, oh shit, we should have done that. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Just any clues, things like that. I'll have a little check. <laughs> I'll give her a little check. <laughs> sure, could you roll an investigation check, please? Just be like, into the water! Okay. I'm not great at investigation. I'm okay at investigation. Um, you find uh, seven different sets of brass knuckles. Um, <laughs> three of them are engraved with sherry on them. Oh. Uh, you uh, find many bottles of sherry in what appears to be a bag of holding. <laughs> a bag of holding that is just filled <laughs> with sherry. Um, oh. <laughs> And you also uh, find uh, a silver coin with a skull ooh. on it. Ooh. A skull on it? Yeah. Does a anybody piece of it. recognize this? Um, yes, I do actually. I'll have to take that. What is it? It's a guild coin. Would I recognize that as a guild coin? Um, it's very shiny new, but um, you've heard that the pirate guilds have guild coins to designate leaders. I have no reason not to trust this man. I feel like I don't. Um, I'm gonna look at it. Look at him. Is it him? I don't think it's a him. Um, he's, oh, he's very this, androgynous. This is androgynous. This is them. Okay. I'm going to look at them. Um, mm. I'm gonna hand it over. Very really, like. She takes it off you and kind of flips it in their hands. <laughs> what the oh, fuck's fuck. happening right now? <laughs> Are you okay? Stop. I own two You're freaking me out. I own two pieces of eight. Soon the world will oh, be mine. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. He takes off his necklace, slots on the, the the coin onto it, and puts it back around. You can see he's got two two coins on there. What are you talking about? Um, you win. You you win what? The game. We're going to have to keep going through all these what is this, what is that questions. Um, no, there's a game that we play where um, you have to get all the pieces of eight. There's actually only five pieces of eight, that's why it's funny. <laughs> it's not funny at all. Maybe what, you had to what's be, the though. prize? What's the game? I still don't understand. Um, you know, I actually don't know. But I do want to win. Riding games? Actually, I'm having one of those nights where I am so close to punching just anyone that I see. I'd very much prefer you didn't punch me. Yes, well, I would very much like some more clear answers then. Okay, um, you can ask me a question then. Fuck, it's the game! That's what I'm trying to ask you! So, a long time ago, um, me and uh, Sherry, um, Barnabas, um, uh, and, well, um, and, well, he calls himself Lerix now, but Lerix and his brother, we were all out um, doing some work, and we found these five coins, and we decided to split them up between all of us, and... We said that when one of us died, we would, someone else would get the coin, and whoever got all the coins wins. So this is just a game of whoever can survive the longest? Essentially, yeah. You know, I didn't know what the game was, but I, I 
could have sworn that I lost the game several times there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's no, got sinking uh, in my stomach. I'm very sorry for everybody who's watching who has now lost the game. <laughs> it's okay. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, we need to move this body. What? What? Where are her crew? Are they all fighting? Well, they were all um, on a ship. The uh, the swinging fist, and the ones oh, that weren't um, are now being well brought into my fold, I suppose. Okay. Do you Was have a graveyard of some kind for your fallen <laughs> pirate companions? <laughs> He looks like kind of chef to leave the horse the water. Is that what she would have wanted? Well, she can't really say no now. I mean, I suppose not, but still. I know, like, the pirate is, like, is, like running away from your old self and stuff, but... Did Captain Cherry have any family that you know of? She had a great many sons. But sons? She, but she gave all of them up. She would just pop a baby out and give it to the nearest person and move on with her life. So she had no relationship to any of her children? No, not really. Nice. Can what if we put her on a boat and then send the boat out and then set the boat on f and waste a perfectly good boat on fire? Just a little boat. <laughs> How long does that spell last for? <laughs> Just a little boat. <laughs> no, no, wait, it's not. Oh, hang on. It's like gonna be like ten. It's like 10 minutes or something, uh, uh, or hang uh, on. How much did that spell say? Yeah, yeah, double check this. An hour? <laughs> an hour? An hour? An hour? An hour? You know, no, it's up to a minute, some... so halfway through I'll be like, <laughs> just a little boat. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take some of the sherry and, and, and pour it out for her? And yeah, waste good sherry? No, we, we have a nice sherry right. toast to sherry because sherry loved sherry. So, really, her funeral should be like lots of sherry drinking because. Her real name, I think we should use it in in these, um, you know, last rites. I think it'll be the right thing to do. What was her real name? Sherry. Women is dead, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. Oh <laughs> like Sadie's just gonna punch oh. this fucking elf. Sadie's like, why did I ever water. come home? <laughs> what were you Shed expecting me. from Fort Malara? Pain. So, hold on. Right. Sherry's from Brim, so can... Gwimva kind of go through her tome of sickle and kind of see what the traditional way of like exiting life would be. Um, the very traditional one is to be lowered into lava. Um, but providing that there isn't lava, uh, fire will do. Um, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Um, join sickle in eternal fire. That kind of thing. I would like to put forward that we do cremate her. It's what? what? It's Set about on fire like what... Pokemon was saying. No, it's a watery grave for, for pirates. But if we set the well, boat if you on send fire, her on a boat, a yeah. Grave yeah, just go. Again, this is a waste of a boat. We can yeah, use I... a raft. Okay, fine, I agree with that. You can use a raft. We should gather what's left of our crew. 
I yeah. should be allowed to send her off. I'll do that. I'll go What's find that? some of them that. What's that? <laughs> hmm? There was half of her crew on that ship that disappeared. Uh, I yeah, guess so. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah we heard them waking up. It sucks to be them. It does really they suck did, to be them. They did jack shit. Yeah, yeah they did jack shit. Yeah. 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 They were asleep, to be fair. Like, come on. Yeah. Give them a break. Oh my god. But they didn't get Imagine them waking up. Break. Break. Yeah. No, they didn't get uh, drunk. <laughs> they, they, they went with the ship. Oops. They uh, might be somewhere nice. Maybe. Hopefully. Anyway. Well, yeah. well, what's happening in Wooden Grab right now? I'm sure it's nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Um, so, uh, Juxley comes back with um, a couple of very scared looking dwarves who are wheeling spears. Just put, your, put your fucking spears down. Just put your. Put them down for a second. And they like put them down and grab brass knuckles that are on the floor. And, like put on the brass knuckles. Good, good, good. Um, and you can do your ceremony. Okay. Gwenma, do you want to leave the ceremony? Wrap. Sure, yeah. I'll um, kind of gather some driftwood that's on like the bottom of the dock mm -hmm. and cast fabricate to form it into a, like a, a raft vessel okay. for Cherie's body and um, kind of set it down and just going to rip out one of the blank pages from her um, bible and just draw a picture of a a ship on it with Quimba and her holding hands and place it on her chest. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute. And all of a sudden uh, there's a god's voice and, <laughs> and they're raised from the dead too. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, you, only, you only get one of those. You only Wait, get one of those. If Gwenva is the sword, then if Gwenva breaks... No, no. Let's Gwenva not break Gwenva. Gwenva just changes religion again. Yeah. No. <laughs> this thing was Azura that's like, yeah, you're mine, bitch. <laughs> um, I'll invite the the rest of the crew to come and help me push the, the raft into the water. A couple of them like, pull out trinkets. Uh, and... um, one of them pulls out like a, a little vial that has some of their teeth in it. These were the first teeth that you pulled out of me when I was misbehaving. <laughs> And puts them down on the chest of Cherry. And these are the bones from my broken ankle that I had to have replaced after you stomped on it. I will always miss you, Cherry. And the other one pulls out a little urn and goes, And this was my hamster that you killed. <laughs> and puts it down on the thing. And they all just like silently cry as the raft is pushed out to sea. <laughs> And um, I'll give my warhammer a little kiss and throw it to hit the kind of bottom of the boat because now with my attacks they deal fire damage. <laughs> so <laughs> I want it to like set awesome. the, the raft on fire as a return it to my hand. You know what, for flavor, yeah, as a, it, it alights very slowly. And Can I then... use control flames to help it spread? Yes, you can, and suddenly the whole raft is alight. Um, and you can smell the smell of burning flesh as it goes off onto the ocean and then begins to sink down. It's got... did, we keep, uh, did we keep any of this stuff like the brass knuckles to the bag of holding? I don't think so. Yes, we did not, we did not let those go down with the raft. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, you guys, let the brass knuckles at least. You're not going to take a woman's brass knuckles. You can have the bag of holding yeah. for Sherry, but she needs those for if she ends up in the afterlife. Yeah. 
you know? Hmm. Her punch yeah. really wanted to leave her sherry with her. Yeah. We, we left can a bottle all the sherry from the bag of holding and then just yeah. take that. Well, I think we should... I think we should all, because the bag of holding has like unlimited sherry, so we could put some sherry in with her, but I think we should also all drink some sherry in her honour. Yeah. Yeah, we should drink some sherry. Some sherry, sherry. Yeah. Put some sherry on the raft, make it burn faster and that. <laughs> yeah. She was it's fucking gone. drenched in sherry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, Juxley is like crying as well. A little hand on their shoulder. Because I'm just so fucking happy. Hodkin's <laughs> <laughs> gonna go and stand next to Gwenva on the beach and just like looking out the raft and just like silently just like take Gwenva's hand. I'd like to buy a boat with you. <laughs> I've never been on a boat. I don't remember ever being on a boat. Hmm. Can't be that hard, we could figure it out. Yeah. Just needs to, you know... Yeah. Oh, that's so... Isn't it? It just needs to, like... Be able to be on top of the water. Yeah, that's easy. Just wind enough. pushes it. Gaster turns yeah. to Thorella. <laughs> we could steal their boat. <laughs> <laughs> and we could like. Right, they just think that it gets pushed by the wind, so we could manipulate where it goes. They've they've got no way of knowing. That there's other ways to sail a boat. We'll let them believe it's their boat. We we'll, we'll go on holiday wherever we want. Yes. <laughs> he, he like looks <laughs> over at you guys, not even like trying to be quiet. And goes, "This is a fantastic idea." <laughs> <laughs> they need to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Early start tomorrow. Yeah. So you could, you oh could, yeah, you've got a duel in the morning. You could oh all rest God. for the day. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. So that we can do the duel um, before we finish up here. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, oh God. Let me. Before oh, bed, when we will quickly fabricate a little kind of ten-gallon hat that <laughs> um, says "Deputy" on it properly this time. And um, gives it to Orland. I will not wear that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wow. Oh, wow. You, you oh, made I love this? it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where's it? Where's the fridge? Do they exist, Jet? I'm going to I'm going to nail it to this door right here. Well done, Gwynva. Um, Sadie has never seen that one, so <laughs> the fridges don't exist. <laughs> just, just this wooden wall. No, get it out. <laughs> it doesn't belong in oh, here. When Gwenva's gone, <laughs> Gwenva's gone. <laughs> yeah, Eris the, the badge is fine. He's going to spend a long rest at the window, still kind of keeping watch, but also reading the guide to adventuring. Sadie, can you give me a wisdom save? Sadie? Yeah. What, what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? What is wisdom? Can I add uh, my inspiration to that? You can re-roll because you have inspiration. Oh, that's my I said, I forget what it was doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's my, yeah, my flash of genius to that. I'm with Sadie. You are asleep if <laughs> you are resting. We all is always ready that, to flash of genius. That was not specified, <laughs> so... This is purely during the rest, so no, you cannot flash of genius this. This is purely <laughs> Or you wake up and you're Can like, Can wake up or into me <laughs> flash of genius? No. That's fair. <laughs> Say, you're having a dream. On the dream, you are in a small cottage. It's homey, it's nice, and... 
there's a fireplace roaring and there's a table set with two glasses of wine uh, there's some lovely roast meat on the table and JJ is sitting at the fire poking at it and getting it to spark a little bit more he stands almost feeling your presence I wasn't actually sure that was going to work What do you mean? Sorry, this is all very confusing and I don't really have that long. Um, how are you, dear? I'm having a dream right now. Sure. Darling, I'm confused. Well, I got your favourite wine and there's some lovely meat and we can talk about it. Okay. Sit, sit down, sit down. Um, how's, um, how are things? Are you still on the water, or? No. Oh. I stopped as soon as she died. Oh. That's understandable, um, do that to people. Um, are things the same around home? That's complicated, I just... <laughs> I went home after I lost you, and I stayed for a while, but then I left, and I've just came back. And they seem a bit different, but everything seems different now. You're telling me. Um, I just need you to... I, like... I just need you to do me a favour, Sadie. Anything? Reach over and he grabs both your hands and has him. Just please. And then you wake up. Oh my god. What just happened? So you all wake up in the morning. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck! Orland, it's time to go to your job. Uh. Uh, I like to say that set up my Orland infusions makes... that I'm going to turn off the homunculus servant. What was that, James? Uh, uh, just as Orland wakes up, you see that Gwenva's uh, <laughs> like in your kind of quarters, and she's like doing something over your armor. <laughs> no. As <laughs> <laughs> a thirteen hit you. <laughs> You know. <laughs> All I'm just like, yeah. Uh, I'm a. I'm what just you blessing your. I'm blessing your armor, so. There's a less likely chance you're hit with. A bullet. And you do that to already magical armor. Oh, I, I didn't realize it was magical. Well, it's I've not magical finished... when I put my own infusion on it. I've not finished casting it. I could do it to your, your weapon, so it like has a better chance of hitting him. Also magical. Um, oh. how about my shield? My shield yeah, is magical. Could do... Well, I could do it to your shield, yeah. Okay, okay. Make us magic shield. Appreciate it. Thank well, you, oh, just... Gwenva's doing that. How is Podkin's going to paint a little diamond on your... Podkin's painting a little diamond on your armor while Gwenva's blessing your shield and being like, I mean, we've got some real ones, but this one's just like a sentimental. It's real. It's, everyone's breaking into I am in <laughs> Wait, why, why aren't you wearing my Eris, hat? You're supposed to be in water. <laughs> 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 I 
Quick, wake up, wake up, wake up, like the kids go jumping on the dad's bed in the morning. <laughs> it's like a Christmas morning, but it's your death day. <laughs> <laughs> We couldn't wait. Oh, no, let me just set something else. <laughs> he's been. He's been. <laughs> two, two a.m. I'm also just going to set up the resistant armor as well, so I'm resistant to poison damage. Add a plus one, just in case. Well. It is done. I have a very juicy armor class now. Thank you very much. Okay, okay, so what's the, what's the plan? Time to go die now. <sighs> Wait, what are, we, what are we doing? So you're going up by yourself? And we're staying out of sight? At my spells, I could cast Suggestion on Split. I don't know how wise he is, though. But that, that could at least stop one. him from shooting. Problem with... And it might get annoyed. Yeah. We need to just talk to him and, yeah, so we just need to try to appeal somehow to Split, so no more planning, let's just go. You can hide if you want, just come along with me if not. Whatever you think's best. I'm just no. gonna go. I'm gonna, We're not... and I'm gonna load up the revolver with the billets. And I'm oh, gonna, and I think you should uh, know that if you die... And... Off you go. Hmm? You go. Bond, I think you should know that if you die, I will destroy him. So I can't well, lose you. Remember? I can't lose any of you. Okay. Let's do this. Let's work hard. I'm not gonna... You're not gonna lose me. Just for uh, old Gwen, time's but, well, sakes, um, mm. Gwen was gonna go up and give a, a light slap to the face of Orland <laughs> and cast a uh, death ward. <laughs> so, that is actually really so. Yeah, I'll post it to the. I'm gonna. Uh... Oh yeah, I I I know what it does. It's a really good one. Nice. And I'll. Activate my defensive field as well. Give myself temporary hit points. Okay. Nothing else to it. Let's go. CD, when you wake, you have the yeah. taste of red wine in your mouth. He's been very, like, quiet all morning. She's not really been listening to anything anyone's saying. She's very out of it, very spacey. As you guys head to the meeting point that, uh, Split head pointed out. Are the rest of you hiding? What's the plan? Or are you all just gonna walk up together? I think I mean, we're. Yeah, you're gonna hide. I think. Yeah, I think, I think we should hide. I think we should hide. Okay, all of you make me stealth checks, please. Sneaky, sneaky. Except Gwenva, you have advantage because Gasser reaches over and casts invisibility on you. <laughs> Hell yeah! So it's just a straight I'm roll. Gonna... I'm gonna sit Ambrosia. Oh fuck! In in Orlin's collar before we go and hide. In Orlin's collar? Yeah. You want Ambrosia to die? No. Ambrosia to actually bulletproof. He's like Kevlar. <laughs> nice, nice, really good. You walk up to the open uh, fields. At this point. And I'll, once I go up to open field, if Blitz not there, I'll take the revolver and fire the one bullet that Split gave me up in the air. Except you don't have to, because Split is there. There is a rock in the nice. middle of the, uh, the field, a sharp, jagged rock, and Split is standing there, and when he sees you, he takes off his trench coat and hangs it up over the rock. You can see that he is bandoliered with ammunition and he has two guns by his side as well as the rifle on his back and up his arms are these bands of tattoos, black bands all the way up both of his arms. 
Where are we hiding? In the trees around the open field. Okay. I've put Ambrosia on Arland and I'm going to use Beast Sense so I can see and hear through Ambrosia's eyes and hear and see everything that they're doing. He takes off his mask and you can see his face underneath scarred. And for the first real time, Orland looking at his face, you can see that he is young. Like in his 20s. When did we have our fight? Initially. 15 years ago. Oh god, I... Orland, you hmm. monster. Uh, confusing. You should have come alone, ah. Orland. I've come to talk, if that's possible. The gods watch down on us. Only one of us will leave this field this day. And before anything else continues, I feel like, out of respect, I should just learn your real name. My father was the first Kalithar. I am Kalithar the second. But you can call me Tusk. Kalithar. Tusk. If that is what you wish. Tusk, this revenge you have in the grand scheme of everything happening here. There will be no true peace to your mind after this. It may be hard to believe coming from me, but there can be another way. The soul of my father will never rest until your blood lies upon this grass or until I join him in the afterlife. The bands no around other his way arms are beginning to ripple with energy. Face me like a man like you did my father all those years ago. It was your father I killed all those years ago, wasn't it? Not you. You were just a child in the house where I got burned down. I knew you didn't recognize me. And he pulls his gun. And that's where we're going to start next I session. Should... That's where <laughs> we're going to start next session. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate... Why am I here? Oh my god. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for that session. We'll be starting off next time with the split fight. Um, hopefully the resolution of that chapter. That will either end in Orland's death or Split's death. Um, or if it ends in Orland's I... death, it also ends in Split's death. You make a good point. I want to know what happened now that, like, did Orland just, just shoot a child one time? <laughs> Casually no. shoot a child. Um... I, I think it's a case we used to think. I I fought Split in a very long battle, but it seems like my bet is I fought Split's father and killed him in the ensuing fight, and he was just a child at the time. He refuted that, though. He was like, oh, and you didn't recognize me as though that's not true, and, and you did actually... Mm -hmm. But he also said someone brought him back, did he not? I, so maybe he's not fully... I think the thing was Orlin said he did recognise him. Or suggested that. Maybe. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get flashbacks <laughs> during the combat <laughs> to make it more interesting, because <laughs> there will be that. Of course. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's going to be very fun. Um, but yes. You better not be... Working till ten, Robert. Yeah. You better not be. Eh? 
my role chart is not up yet, but I think I'm going to message my manager to say, hey, I know you don't <laughs> normally do this, but just let's make sure. <laughs> yeah, it would be especially bad. Not, this, next, not next week. week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you all. What would We're even be... happen then? I would, I would have to control Orland. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, <laughs> no. I no. leveled up to level nine. I want to use him for the <laughs> For what could possibly be Orlin's last fight. It would be Orlin's drunk and discussing Orlin's life for the show. <laughs> oh, shit. I am, I am already shitting it. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Nice. Anyway, everybody wave goodbye at the stream. Goodbye, stream. Bye, stream. Bye, stream. Goodbye, stream. Bye.